these are the Maine Black Bears, one of just three college teams remaining on the ice. They take on the number one seed, the Badgers from Wisconsin, just 90 minutes away from Madison as we are in Milwaukee. And believe me, these fans from both of these schools take this very seriously. There'll be a packed house here tonight at the Bradley Center and a very strong representation from Maine as the Bears and Badgers, both with 28 wins on the season, get set to take on one another. Somebody moves on to the championship game Saturday night. Boston College with a 6-5 win over North Dakota has already moved on. They'll face the winner of this game. With Barry Melrose, I'm Gary Thorne. We welcome everybody. You're going to hear a lot of this tonight, and that is noise. They are already rocking here at the Bradley Center for the University of Maine. A 19-year-old goaltender has become the big story in this game. Well, definitely, and I think we're finally going to answer the age-old question, does size really matter? Six foot seven, Ben Bishop's the biggest goaltender I've ever seen in my life. I want to see how he can move, how he controls rebounds, if he can get the job done, because he is huge in that net. He'll be looking at the other end of the 20 year old Brian Elliott who may just be the best college goaltender in the nation number wise he is he's number one in just about every category he hasn't been scored on in the last three games just a spectacular goaltender he's getting the job done for Wisconsin and again Ben Bishop is going to have to be huge big and net if he's going to beat this six foot three goaltender Brian Elliott they are two teams that marrow one another great defensive efforts Brian Elliott the goaltender you just saw we asked him when you get this close yeah I mean uh, I think that's what makes it uh, tough to sleep at night uh, because you just you want to do that so bad and uh, all those emotions are, are, are already here and I mean you're so close you're two games away from a national championship we are getting ready to paint the town red as in Badger Red Wisconsin in Maine in Milwaukee coming up shortly here on ESPN2 and high above the Bradley Center. I'm Mike Hall along with my partner Bob Norton. Some of the things to watch for in this game. Let's start off with Maine. Hobie Baker finalist Greg Moore, native of Lisbon, Maine, out of St. Dominic's of Lewiston. Tough kid, prototype pro. What do you think about the Badgers? Uh, tough. They proved a lot to me. Grit, grit, grit. Getting by Cornell. A street fight to get here. Should be interesting goal. He's the young one with Bishop against uh, Brian Elliott for Wisconsin. And of course, this is the only top seed left Wisconsin trying to survive the winner will go on to face BC Barry and Gary with the call next ESPN 2's presentation of the NCAA men's frozen four brought to you by Avis we try harder and the banana cream pie blizzard from Dairy Queen made with real pie pieces do one Back here at the Bradley Center, Milwaukee hosting the Frozen Four for the third time. Maine won a championship here, in fact, in 93. And we are delighted to have you with us. Our telecast available in high definition on ESPN2 HD. Hockey East represented by Maine, the WCHA by Wisconsin. Hockey East has put the Eagles in with their 6-5 win over North Dakota. We'll see who goes to the championship game against them, and we are ready to go. Michelle Yavalier will take the face off. It'll be won by Wisconsin. Lavalier on the intercept. This is Maine's high scoring line with Lavalier, Moore, and Soares. Third back to the side of the net. Wisconsin back into the corner. Pavelski. Oh, shot, save, rebound is covered up. So the first chance goes to Wisconsin. And Ben Bishop after a big booming hit along the near side boards. Jeff Lycan comes in and lowers the boom. Great hit. That's what you want at the start of a game, especially when the stands are filled with red Wisconsin fans. Message sender. Holy man. Sore is going to be sore after that hit. Great hit. Puck goes out to the point. They get a good shot at net. Excellent, excellent start for Wisconsin. It couldn't have printed a better script than that start. And we may see a lot of that in this game. These are two very yep. gritty teams who rely on defense. Wisconsin, the best defense in college hockey, giving up an amazing low 1.85 goals a game. Maine was fourth best in the nation at 2.2. Pavelski moves in to take this face off for the Badgers. To the left of Bishop, the main goaltender, won it back to the point, but it'll be chipped away and comes out. Likens had to come back to get it. They get on side. Bishop leaves it back in uh, behind the net. Maine, Tyler had it knocked away once, twice. Able to clear it up. Brett Tyler got it out of there. Hacked out at center and into the zone. Both teams want to get a line change underway here. And we'll
will do so at the moment. Robert Earl, Earl drove it back into the far end. Maine will get it as Wisconsin wants a change. Wisconsin getting new skaters out had to get on side. Safe back into the corner. McMurchie got it down deep. These teams love to check. Bishop will hang on to the shot from the point. And everything that we've heard uh, coming into this game, it's been about Ben Bishop and the young Maine goaltender, just 19 years old, first year, taking over the job really unexpectedly for Tim Whitehead's team. Can he stand up to the pressure Gigant of this frozen pool? Gigantic goaltender, six foot seven, as you mentioned in the open. Tim Whitehead took over from Sean Walsh, really uh, put this program on the map, and can certainly continued his winning ways and recruiting ways. Excellent recruiting class in Maine. That one dumped back through center as Josh Engel is out there with uh, Tom Gilbert. For Wisconsin on defense, played back uh, in behind the net and around the boards by Mullen. Not cleared out of the zone, however. Lots of jamming going on along the wall. Maine will get the breakout up ice, and that'll be held on to. First chance the other way as Brian Elliott gets it. Well, the coach for uh, Wisconsin, Mike Gaves, went through a couple tough years earlier, but certainly got this program on the right track now. Uh, his first uh, Frozen Four appearance. Played against Mike, played uh, his brother Murray, played for me in the American League. Excellent hockey family, uh, came from a, a hockey coach, certainly knows the game, and uh, just signed a new contract here in uh, Wisconsin. Decided this is the place he wants to be. He's coached in the NHL assistant, he's coached in the American League, and looks like uh, college hockey is where he feels the most comfortable and uh, where he loves to coach the most. He was the captain when he played in Wisconsin for the Badgers. Face off to the right side of uh, Elliott. Maine on the offensive draw end here. Along the near side boards able to hold it in. Mullen sends it a little bit deeper. Both of these teams play in your face hockey. They keep the pressure on. If you make mistakes and turnovers, those uh, will result in opportunities. Skilly added along the near side and lost it. Jagas sent it into the zone, almost pickpocketed. Jagas came back to get it high off the glass and into the net as he tried to wrap it around, and that will draw the whistle. Take a look at the numbers that have been put up on the season as they're getting to the frozen four. You've got to have the defense for Ben Bishop. Well, you look at those numbers, uh, the, the save percentage isn't as high as some other goaltenders to say goals against is excellent. But again, I'm just amazed at his size. That's what I'm going to be looking for, his movement. Does he move well? Uh, does he uh, play the angles properly? Is he strictly a butterfly? Uh, can he handle the puck? Things like that. He's only 19 years old. And again, a six foot seven goaltender is very, very rare. Two first lines will match up against one another as they did when they started the game. Lovalski will move in for the Badgers. Lavalier. Lavalier goal, nine assists over the last six games. He was the Hockey East rookie of the year. Cleared back into the corner. It gets knocked down. Lavalski came back to get it around the boards on the near side. Will roll out to center. Mike Lundin coming back to get it for Maine. Lundin left it in the middle. Just overskated on the attempted steal at center ice. Boy, these Greg Moore, big star, wearing number 15 for Maine. Keep an eye on him. Just took a pretty good hit right there. Move back to Earl, trying to draw around the D. Can't do it. And you see how tight they're playing. Lavalier leaves it off on the wide side. Soares waiting as uh, the defenseman fell down in front of him. Shot from the point. Save made and knocked away. That one came in from the blue line through a lot of bodies and ended up being a pretty good chance. He didn't see that, Gary. Elliott did not see that puck come off the defenseman stick. Found it when it was about three feet from him. So great reaction, great save by Brian Elliott. And uh, this guy, his numbers are fantastic. Uh, he's number one in just about every goaltending category. Goals against 1.55. Give me a break, man. 938 save percentage. Hasn't gave up a goal in three straight games. Awesome, awesome numbers. Awesome goaltender. And he's a big goaltender too. He's 6'3", so neither one of these goaltenders are, are shrinking by this by any stretch of imagination. Colby Baker Award a candidate, and the award that will be made here during the Frozen Four activities this weekend. Faceoff will come uh, to the top of the circle. Derek Damon will win the draw. Tyler trying to drop it off, sends it in wide of the net. Maine gets it back in front, and that just is deflected wide through the crease. Keith Johnson, Billy Ryan combining in the opportunity. That'll be whistled. You're going to see pucks in the seats. You see how often it's happening now. These teams play such a tight game that guys get forced to make plays before they're ready, and a lot of times they're going to send it over the glass. Very lucky this is college, not the NHL. We probably would have already had five penalties. Uh, but these teams forecheck so hard. 
I see right now I would not like to play main in the best of seven series. They punish you more uh, sores. These guys make big hits all over the ring. That's why both those teams have those defensive numbers fell down and knocked away almost uh, on the intersect was Derek Damon. Damon was up on the lone four checker that time. Damon will chase this down in their own end. Tyler trying to bat it around the boards, get it out the center. Damon again. Derek Damon trying to move it in out of Bangor, Maine, a senior. Damon takes it back in behind the net. D gets back to knock it away. McMurchy got back both these teams, as expected, finding it tough going to get through the middle. McMurchy, a shot, that one along the ice went wide. Rebound came up the half wall. Big hit put on as a release from center. Dumped back in by Gilbert. Maine will bring this one out. As Wisconsin was going to be offside. Two on two the other way from the point. That one goes wide. Reflected uh, all the way to Hudson. Knocks that one down after he shot it. Roll back out to center. Not much room again at center ice. They'll roll these four lines over. Both of these teams uh, will do that in this game. And when you play this way, you almost have to in order to keep fresh legs on the ice. Uh, the neutral zone's plugged up. The lanes are plugged up. You can't go through the middle of the rink with the puck. It's a giveaway every time you touch it. If you try and go up the wall, there's a good chance you're going to get crushed like you were right there. Hamilton took that shot as he went uh, along the wall and got it. A penalty coming up. It's going to be on Wisconsin. Set in on net. We'll get our first whistle right here. There's the penalty, and for the Bears, Maine will get a power play opportunity. No score. Each team with a couple of shots on the board. 15-59 to go in the first. A little bit of the pageantry going on here. 401 the penalty. Wisconsin. Degan Hart picks it up. Maine will go on the power play. Maine's power play at an incredible 56 power play goals. They were tied for second in the nation, but Wisconsin's penalty kill gave up just 26 third best in the country. So specialty units go at it here. More along the boards. Number 15 for Maine was their leading power play goal scorer, sixth in the nation in that department. Good to check put on from behind over there by Flubertas to knock his man down. Maine with the advantage here, minute 44 in their power play. To the point, Tyler shot and deflected and a save made. Good slide by Elliott and a big save. Shot from the point, came for a deflection. He was not trying to score. Soares got in front. It was for a deflection. Tyler shot the puck. Good wrist shot. He kept it low. Soares comes in, tries to tip it through Elliott's legs. Looks like it might go through, but somehow he squeezed the wickets. Kept that out. Excellent execution by Maine. Great shot by Tyler. Great deflection by Soares. Perfect positioning by Elliott, 6'3", 187-pound junior. Elliott was the most outstanding player in the regional as uh, Wisconsin came away with wins over Bemidji State and Cornell. We'll show you some of that Cornell when we get a chance. A triple overtime game. Off the faceoff, Maine wins it back to Tyler. Tyler backhands it. Got that one a little too high in the air, though. Moore coming over. Couldn't get to it to hold it in. Gets knocked down with a high stick. That'll be waved off as the Wisconsin penalty killers will take it back and dump it the full length of the ice. And we'll have to go back in behind uh, the net to start. Lavalier uh, yeah, will be uh, working in the middle on the power play unit. That one got lost at center. It just stuck along the ice. Right for Wisconsin and they rag it off a little bit on the far side. Good work to eat up some of that time on the clock. Came back to Tyler. Tyler moving it. Penalty killers changing up. Moore bringing it in. Moore gets stood up by the D. They know they've got to keep him away from the front of the net. In the corner, Moore reaching in to try and dig it out. Can't. Mike Hamilton over there in the power play unit. Into the corner it goes. Down to 48 seconds left on the main advantage here. Keenan Hobson. Hobson's been hot of late. Trying to drop it back to the blue line. But it gets flipped out the center. Good defensive play made by Adam Burrish. Burrish yesterday talking to head coach Eves of Wisconsin. He said Burrish is our leader. He's the one who won't let anybody relax on the ice and he leads by example. That's the way it's been all year. And if somebody needs a fire lit under him, he's the one who'll do it. Hudson moves that one in. That trickled off a defense. 20 seconds left on the main power play. Lundin waiting at the point, but it never got there. Laid back Hobson. Hobson trying to roll it around the net. Couldn't get it out in front. Wisconsin needs one more clear to be able to kill this off. Lundin could not hold it in. Good job to get it out. 
McMurchy was down. Duffy got back there. Lundin will take it back in behind the net for Maine. Penalty is over. 0 for 1 on the power play for the Bears. And a great kill by Wisconsin. Never really got a scoring chance apart from that first hit by Soares. Kept him to the outside. Really just battled, uh, hacked and whacked at the puck for basically a minute and 40 seconds after that. So excellent kill. Something to build on for Wisconsin. These teams going back and forth and keeping that clock running here. 13.40 to go in the period. Bishop played that. Uh, they do not move it out of the zone. Held in off the far side. Skilly held it in. Maine regains possession. Mullen cleared it around the near side. Badgers putting the heat on on the four check. Carlson coming over looking for the loose puck. Couldn't find it. Skilly with a stand up check held it in. Holding her shot from the point goes back in. Carlson trying to get to it had it poke checked away. Up the near side boards, uh, Maine will move it out of there. This is going to be an icing call as it crosses the line. Let's check in with Mike Hall. Mike. Guys, there's more than 18,000 people that can fit in the Bradley Center, and as you can tell, most of them are cheering for Wisconsin. Certainly a home ice advantage. Heck, the W for Wisconsin is on the ice. Coach Tim Whitehead said, yeah, it's going to be us against the building. But the thing is, this is the fifth year in a row that they've played tournament games in their opponent's state. The good thing for Maine is that Milwaukee, Gary, is when they won, where they won their first NCAA title back in 1993. And obviously, uh, Whitehead has reminded the uh, Black Bears about that. They have played before uh, these kinds of crowds and winning their two national championships. They'll be chased out of the zone here. We're five on five. Earl along the near side. He's a big time scorer. Robbie Earl number 10. That one got deflected away. Good help in front by Tyler to move that out of there. Gary, as long as you don't let Wisconsin take the lead, the, the crowd uh, is not a big factor. So get that momentum get going. Momentum, exactly. Yeah. Take the lead. Take them right out of the game. Can actually work to your favor. Maine looking to get it out in front, trying to get a wraparound chance here. Carried it all the way around the boards that time. That was Keith Johnson. Uh, Johnson couldn't find anybody. Two on three the other way. Shot blocked. That'll end up going up and over the glass as well. And now we get a little uh, scuffle going over on the far side, right in front of Dave Hansen, the referee. Joe Ross, Andy O'Brien, the linesman from the ECAC. 1993, the Maine Black Bears, Lake Superior State, the opponent, three unanswered points. Paul Correa, Jim Montgomery, both played on that team, both went on to the National Hockey League. Lake Superior State threatened to go ahead in the end, but not to be, and Maine won it 5-4 in their first national title. Mr. Correa, still a pretty good hockey player, playing pretty well for the Nashville Predators. He is that, on a team that uh, Jimmy might... Mont might just add another championship. Jimmy Montgomery, I believe, is an assistant coach in uh, uh, Notre Dame. He is. That'll be sent in wide by Gilbert. Came off the back of the net. Lavalier on the far side gets uh, pinned up. Good hit put on him by Dowell to hold that in. Jake Dowell with a fine play over there on the far side. Mike Lundin, they reverse direction. And cleared to center. Boy, trying to make any kind of a clear pass. And keep your head up after you get rid of the puck, no matter what color uniform you're wearing. Oh, this, this game is not going to be a no hitter. We're going to get lots of bang and crash, and this game's going to be one on the wall in front of the net. Dowell shot. Big save made by Bishop with a left pad. Good opportunity for Dowell as he slung that one along the ice. He is a five, a goal scorer during the season. Well, we're wondering how this kid moves, and I'll tell you, I, I saw him go out and get a puck move very well. This shot, great shot right along the ice. Use the D as a little bit of a screen. Those pads come out very quickly. Rebounds controlled. Looks pretty mobile for a guy the size of a truck, I'll tell you. And how about playing in Texas? Texas Tornado. That's the team he played for before he came to Maine. Uh, he is from Missouri. Everything's bigger in Texas. You know that, Jerry. <laughs> he fit right in, didn't he? Fit right in Texas. Man. He, he should have been in Texas. There's no doubt about it. Lycan sends that one uh, back through the middle. And again, we just chip it back and forth here with a tight checking game continuing. Maine will have to go back in behind the net to play this. Maine will have uh, Steve Mullen and Matt Duffy as a defensive pairing. That one uh, sent through center. John Hobson tried to tip it and did, so he won't have to take a whistle. Carlson tries to backhand it out of the zone, and he does on the high flip. Both teams that's D first do not make mistakes that will pop the puck up. Hamilton a trailer here as they move it into the zone. Hamilton get, uh, got pinned up as he tried to go by and pick that up, and uh, Tyler dumps it in from the center ice area. It'll be controlled by Wisconsin, though. Carlson coming in offside. They'll uh, clear the zone. Maine trying to make a line change almost get caught with too many people out there. It's Mike uh, Hamilton. Hamilton for Maine was trying to get off the ice and that one's going to be whistled on the hand pass and a little extracurricular activity continues. First period scoreless. Maine coming in as an at-large team. Wisconsin also an at-large team. 
the number one seeded for the Frozen Four. Well, one guy I've fallen in love with already is Greg Moore. He just plays so physical. Uh, Bob mentioned in the open he's a prototypical pro player. Definitely, he's going to thrive in the pro game. The way he skates, the way he hits. 6'1", 214, and uh, very talented, and he'll be out for all kinds of shifts uh, for the main team here in this game. Shepard got pinned up in the corner, number 29. Pruck freed up Andy Brandt. Got it, Brandt. Cleared it up the far side, wall and out the center. Can't connect, though. Maine will get back on side and send it right back in. Tyler dumped it in, played around by Elliott. Not out of the zone. That'll roll in off the side of the net on the uh, dump in. Travis Ramsey had tried to move it out of there. The main bears at the point. That comes back to center. Degenhart, he was all alone. He'll send it in. Both teams will change it up. Both teams rolling these lines over here in the first period. Shots are 4 3. Favor the Badgers. Three on two rush the other way. Sent down low, but uh, to the chances fanned on. Attempted centering pass that time. Just rolled away. And nobody got an opportunity. That'll be dumped in. Delayed offside call there. They got to clear the zone, and the Badgers do. Main back to get it. Lundin sends it ahead. Can't connect at center. Looking straight down the middle. First line out there. And again, nowhere to go with it. Pavelski on a good keeper. Center block straight through the middle. Score! The Badgers get on the board. A bouncing puck off a body to the right side of Bishop. I, I think it went on Travis Wright, Gary. Maine had the puck near the blue line and they didn't get it out. That's a cardinal sin uh, in a defensive hockey game. Wisconsin got the puck, basically just shoveled it at the net. You see the puck right there, no problem. Maine has complete possession. Billy Ryan has the puck, doesn't get it out. And you're going to see the puck go up and hit Travis Wright, right in the arm and go into the net. And I was just going to come on and say how Maine was carrying the play and was initiating the hitting and, and taking it to Wisconsin, and Wisconsin comes down and throws it in the net. Now the crowd's just unbelievable right now, fired up in this building. Great atmosphere for Wisconsin. This is where you can get the crowd on your side and have it make a difference. A 1-0 lead as the Badgers get it off the main defenseman. Burrish will be credited with the goal. Adam Burrish picks up the goal, his ninth of the season, their leader. Maine trying to get it right back, rolls in on net, and that will be held on to. That one got partially blocked as Soares took the chance. And again, Bishop was playing the angle. The puck just uh, took a bad bounce. It looked like it was going to go clear. Puck went right back to Burrish right there. Everyone was doing their job. Wright was in the right position. Everybody was doing what they are supposed to do, and the puck ends up in your net. See a red, baby. See a red. This place is this place is jamming right now. It's it's awesome. Only 90 minutes away from their home rink, so they have got a large crowd on hand. One back to Tyler. Tyler the wrister that deflects off skates into the corner, and uh, will be played off the far side and out again. The length of the ice. Bishop's gonna have to come back and get it. Bishop looking for help. Tyler waiting there for him. Tyler. A hard hit, but it's going to go the length of the ice, and this will be another icing call on Maine with 9.08 to go. Talking about the triple overtime game, it's how Wisconsin got here. one nothing against Cornell, the second longest NCAA tourney game, and it is the longest game without a goal being scored until you got into the third overtime. The goaltenders, absolutely magnificent. Jack Skilly would end up getting the game of winner. They didn't know if they should celebrate or just try and breathe. They said they were so exhausted in a, in a game that took four hours and 40 minutes. And one nothing ended up the final score. Two four checkers up for Wisconsin, forcing Aaron passes at center by Maine. Hamilton came back to get it, had it taken away. Dumped back in. Olinger, a nice play to get it in. Maine trying to find a way to get through center ice and fanned on the attempt to just dump it in. Badgers will set in that one deep and will change it up. Bishop trying to catch him, sent it right onto the stick shot. He has to make the save on Andy Brandt. Bishop cleared it out himself and put it right on Brandt's blade. It would have been okay, Gary, if he'd have shot the puck harder. He fanned on a little bit. That's why Brandt was able to intercept the pass. But uh, I like the way he handles the puck. There's the skilly goal right there. The one, the overtime game was a pretty goal. Usually in overtime, it's a piece of junk that scores and wins the game. But <laughs> Skilly made a great shot, beat the Cornell goaltender, and a long, long game is over. Skilly needs to do that again today. He is just a freshman, and no matter how many years he plays, no matter where, he'll remember that. Good save made by Bishop right off the faceoff. LaCarrie had the opportunity. He gets pinned up against the boards now by Mullen. 
And uh, Maine having trouble connecting here, getting anything set up. We'll just do the high flip out the center. They come back to get it and uh, we'll dump it in. That was Shepard who tried to get it in, but did so. Well, he still had a player in the zone. We're going to get a penalty. Charging is indicated, and it's going to go against the Badgers. So Maine will get a power play, a two minute charging call here in Milwaukee, the Frozen Four at the Bradley Center. Sellout crowd on hand, the second of our semifinal games being played. Mike and Bob will be joining you during our intermission. Take a look at highlights and stories surrounding this game. Does he have a name? Does a black bear have a name, or is he just Blackie? Or the black what? bear, right? Just the black bear. <laughs> a lot of imagination in Maine, isn't there? The bears. It's <laughs> what is it? It's bananas. How do you get Honest bananas enough. out of Maine? Well, you have to buy them at the store Holy and then put them in your car bananas. and take them out. Bananas. <laughs> yeah. I'm got a little disappointed with that one, folks. I knew you were going to say that. Adam Burris cleared that one again the length of the ice. And Bishop swings it around to Moore. There's Greg Moore, Lavalier, and Soares on this first line for Maine. They have been led by the offense. Greg Moore has picked up 28 goals, 16 assists on the season. Defenseman Tyler dumped it to the wide side. Couldn't be handled. He get back on side. Tyler will bring that one in again. Just a hard wrap around. Held in by Josh Soares on the far side and tried to set it. Nobody there. Good job defensively. Likens moves it in and they'll go for the chain. Bish Bishop loves to handle a puck. And he's good at it too, Gary. I don't think Maine scores a lot of pretty goals. I think they're a hack and whack team. I think they throw it at the net. They outnumber people. They're trying to get into physical games. I, I think that's how they like to play. There are no uh, tremendous offensive stars no, other no. than Lavalier and Moore. And otherwise, the lines roll over, and you're absolutely right. That's the style of play that, that got them here, and it was good enough for them to be third, uh, be ninth in the nation in offense. Actually, a little higher than Wisconsin, which was 13th in score. Well, Maine doesn't have any T.J. O'Shea's to go in to and no. make about four beautiful plays and throw it to someone for a backdoor goal. Now well, these goals are going to be earned. There's another errant pass intercepted. Wisconsin trying to take advantage, can't get it down low. Grant. Grant tried to dig that out of skates to get a shot, and Maine got away with one right there, as that was a, a bad turnover. They'll send it in. Line change completed here. Bass, Bears have it down low. John Hobson. Hobson works on this line with the Keenan Hobson, his brother, and that one almost turned over by the goaltender as Elliott misplayed that. Bishop at the other end. Wisconsin changing. He misplayed it, Gary, but I like the idea of not getting a face off in his own zone. That's an experienced goaltender, a smart move. He did that. Hobson will move it in. Centering pass for his brother. Got deflected by his side. Pavelski able to clear it out of there. And the penalty is over. So Maine got nothing on that power play chance. And the face off's going to come in the Wisconsin end. A 1 0 lead. 6 7 left to go, first period. 7 3 shots in favor of Wisconsin. More important, the goal off the main defenseman that went in is celebrated. Shepard picked up a boarding call at 1353. So Maine is going to be shorthanded here and a hit in the corner. And they move the face off back out to center. So with a 1 0 lead, Wisconsin gets a power play opportunity. Their power play this season was uh, ranked 18th in the nation. Maine had the best penalty kill in Division I hockey. Well, let's see how this matchup goes. Big chance for Wisconsin now to get that second one up on the board. They'll set up the power play, look for number eight. Kowalski, who is their leading power play goal scorer, out there on that first line. That is Earl on the far side. Robbie Earl had it stolen, shorthanded. Lavalier looking for some help. Lavalier found it in the middle, shot deflected wide. That one hit a skate and rolled wide. Yeah. Jeff Likens in the corner had that shot. Earl dug it out. Dangerous opportunity right there. Joe Drake, Wisconsin looking. They're in, will be offside, and there's the whistle. Lavelski had moved into the zone and could not get out of there. Our Frozen Four continues on Saturday right here in Milwaukee. It'll be the championship game. You can catch all the action live at 7 Eastern on ESPN and ESPN HD. And for a preview of the men's ice hockey championship, visit NCAAsports.com, the official online home for all 88 NCAA championships. You can certainly see Lavalier's uh, talent in the corner there. Made a great pass out to uh, Greg Moore. It took a little bit too long to shoot. Tom uh, Gilbert was able to come over and block the shot. 
Big hitting going on along the blue line there. We've got a minute two left on the main penalty. Main is short handed. The Bears have had uh, good luck short handed. That one cleared back in behind the net. They need uh, one to get back on the board here. One nothing. Wisconsin leading. Wisconsin trying to get this power play going. Right now having trouble moving it out of the zone. Main shot save. Bishop's got it and it will be whistled. Good effort down low. Ross Carlson came in from the right side. Carlson along with Jack Skilly who's got the goal almost got another one. Well the thing is with a butterfly goaltender you usually tell the shooter make sure the second shot goes up under the bar. But with this guy Bishop there is no under the bar. When he's in the butterfly his shoulder is actually uh, above the crossbar he's so big. He has lost only one in the last 13. He's 10 1 and a 2 in the last 13 starts he's had. Remain in net. Intercepted. Lundin able to clear it out. And 30 seconds remaining on the power play chance. From Missouri, that hockey hotbed. Hotbed in Texas where he played. Goaltending. Born in Missouri, raised in Texas. Can't, well, can't do fail. It. Can't fail. Carlson dropped that one off. Power play still underway here for Wisconsin. 14 seconds left on it. Maine needs one more clear to run the time off, and they'll get it right there. So that'll do it on the power play. Five seconds left to go. Maine will change up on the penalty killers. It'll remain Wisconsin uh, one and Maine nothing. As we're back to five on five hockey. Buck stripped away from Skilly at center. Turns around, gets it back, sends it in. Bishop going back. Got to be careful when uh, Bishop's handling that puck. If, even if you've got the right color jersey on, you'll have to sling that thing right around you. Loose at center. Maine trying to clear the zone. Tyler coming back. Brett Tyler on a Maynard mass. The defenseman who's already seen a lot of ice time in the first. Ingle clears it around the boards but not out. Maine able to hold it in. Centering pass gets blocked. And it'll be the Badgers on the move out of the zone. The carry sends it in. Maine completing a line change. Bishop. Bishop's like an extra defenseman that there as far as handling the puck is concerned. Degenard in behind the net. Couldn't get control of it. Third back the near side and the main will move it out. Shepard will head to the bench after that pass. They get a line change. Going to the near side. Brant went hard. Right to the penalty box area. Head first, but he is all right. Ryan the trailer. Damon going deep. Damon trying to get a wraparound. Did and a save made by Brian Elliott. Damon with a bid to try and get it tied up. Derek Damon the chance. He's got the goal and it is a one nothing lead for Wisconsin. Well he's one of the four Madison kids on the team. Uh, Adam Burrish he's one of the 12 or 13 Wisconsin kids on the team. Certainly Wisconsin does a great job of keeping kids here in the state of Wisconsin. The only kid they lost was a kid called uh, Kessel who might be the number one pick. He's a Madison boy. How did that happen. Yeah. Burrish's sister Nikki was on the championship team for the women. And Wisconsin, coached by Mark Johnson, the former Olympian and NHLer, who is here tonight. In fact, uh, watching the Badgers where he played his college hockey. Third back to center. Ryan wanted to play that. Had too many people in the zone, though. Lavelski trying to move it in. He gets stood up along the blue line, and they'll change it up. We had a lot of line changes coming quickly here. Lavalier, the first line is out there for Maine right now. Lavalier off on the far side, scoots into the zone, looking into the middle. He's still got it. Lavalier shot and scores. Maine ties it up. That looked like it got deflected just before it got by Brian Elliott. Well, Lavalier might get the goal and certainly a great shot. But the reason this goal is scored is because Skilly goes to the front of the net, or uh, Johnson goes to the front of the net and supplies the screen. Elliott did not see this puck at all. You see it hit him there, he did not know it hit him, trickled through his arm into the net. So Johnson gets, uh, might not even get an assist on this. But he's the reason the goal was scored. Elliot did not see that puck coming off Lavalier's stick. How about the fact both goals for each team have gone after their own players defensively? That, it's this type of game. Neither one of these teams, they both play that type of hockey. You're going to get men in the face of the goaltender. This ain't going to be a pretty game. This ain't going to be an oil game. <laughs> this is going to be a this is going to be a street fight. Lycan sends that one into the corner. This game is tied now at 1-1. Lavalier will probably be credited with that goal as he took that shot and got it off a defender's skate. Pushed ahead. Bears back on the attack. 
Shores. That one will be held on to by Elliott. But again, Gary, you got a goaltender like that. You know he hasn't given up a goal for three games. If he sees it, he's going to stop it, especially when he's so confident right now. You've got to put men in his face. Four goal, four saves tonight. First goal allowed in 270 minutes. You know, if he sees it, he's going to stop it. Put men in front of him, put traffic in front of him. When you go to the net, you also take a defenseman with you. So instead of one pair of legs, you got uh, two pair of legs there. Make him fight through screens to see the puck. That's the only thing you can do with great goaltenders. Big for Maine to be able to get that over huge, with. Huge, huge. They knew how hot he had been. Skilly sent that one into the corner. Lavalier is credited with the goal. Duffy gets the assist, 21 on the season for Lavalier, the center on that first line. Back in behind the net now. It's so Wisconsin trying to get it back. Big battle. Shot save made. Bishop got a piece of that on a tremendous effort by Ross Carlson. Boy, did he earn that one. Main right back the other way. Hamilton sent it off the near side boards. Get up to Tyler. Here. Tyler still has it. Tyler in. Tyler dropped it into the middle. Nobody could get the shot. Carlson's got it. Carlson will turn it back in a three on two for Wisconsin. Carlson brings it in as it poke checked away to center. Wisconsin was changing up D behind the play. Nobody there to get it. They'll send this in and it will be an icing call. Well, I'll tell you, Gary. I think Bishop's size is the reason this save was made. He goes into that butterfly like I talked about. He takes away the complete lower part of the net. That puck was going into the corner, just hit him in the pad. I'll tell you, I'm impressed with this kid. He moves well, very acrobatic, very athletic. Now watch. Carlson doing a great job. That right leg just comes out and makes a save, man. It hit another D. It hit Lavalier in the foot there and almost went in. Great reflexes by Bishop. That's where we're going to see all the action, yep. obviously, that we're talking about, Barry. You're right. Board, right down low. Boards in front of the net. Boards in front of the net. Yep. A lot of jam ups down low. There's going to be a lot of physical action trying to clear out in front. Bishop misplayed it. Gets back in net and none too soon. A long shot. Deflected by the defenseman up and over. Josh Engel had the chance. Engel on a loose puck. Maine kicks it out. They've got a man open on the far side but can't get it there. Brad Shepard was wide open for a moment off that left wing side. Bellamy tried to knock that one down, could not. They'll play it back. Lundin, Travis White, the defensive pairing. Set in. Jankus has got it. Jankus drops it into the middle. It is so hard to do anything with that puck as far as passing or even getting a shot lined up because both teams play such tight pressure D. No, everybody back checks in the middle of the rink like they're told very well coached teams. Uh, you get the puck on the wall you might as well shoot it because the middle's picked up the guy going to the net picked up. Wisconsin's got three guys in the middle. Maine's got three guys in the middle. It's going to be a, it's going to be an awesome hockey game. I love the way both these teams play. It's just going to be whichever team blinks first whichever defenseman decides I ain't going to take one more hit to go back and get that puck. I've had enough. So it's the team is going to lose. Shot save. Elliott looked oh. behind him. He was not sure he had that. Keith Johnson right off the draw, and Elliott snapped his head to his left to see if he had let that go by. Because every time Elliott sees the puck coming, he sees a blue sweater coming too. He knows that he's got to uh, clean up the rebounds. He knows he can't leave a puck right there in front of him, or it's going to go in the net. That completely alters the goaltender's thinking. White brings it in. Maine has won two offensive draws here. White centered shot deflected Johnson again. And it's covered up by Elliott. And I'll tell you the black and blue work down low in this game at both ends is going to be a treat to watch. No and again great draw one by Maine that can't happen consistently you're going to be in trouble. Watch the front of the net. That Johnson he loves the front of the net man. You want to score goals he's smart enough to figure I got to go there. <laughs> I love the way that kid plays. He is a junior out of Windsor Connecticut. Five goals on the season. Again, an offensive draw with 17 seconds left to go. Offensive for Maine. This time, Wisconsin will win that one back in behind the net. Pavelski with a faceoff win and an important one. Back to Lundin. Nine seconds left to go in the period. Chipped ahead for Ryan. Ryan trying to battle to hold it into the zone. Will not be able to. It'll be taken back deeper. And uh, we will finish this one up with a 1 1 score. Nine shots for Wisconsin, eight shots for Maine. Lavalier tied it up at 1737 from Duffy after Wisconsin had the lead with Burrish's goal unassisted at 10 11. I love it. This is the way the game's meant to be played, boy. Physical play, not giving a quarter, not asking for it. Everybody's finishing their checks. Only the strong will survive. Only the brave will survive this game. Let's take a look at the numbers from this first period. Here Pretty at the Bradley even. Center. Pretty even, I'd say, eh? Not too much to choose from. Shots on goal, scoring chances, faceoffs one, 
Everything basically the same in one one game. Both teams with great penalty killing yep. units over the year and got it done here again in the first period. It is the kind of game that we expected uh, to see actually because both teams got here by playing close tight games and obviously they're both uh, sticking to that strategy here in this one. Let's get out of Mike. Greg Moore the leader of this main team you're tied at one both goals in this game come with a hint of luck. What was it like to play out there that first period. Uh, it was kind of interesting you know trying to get a feel for each other and uh, I think we're just trying to keep things simple trying to get it deep the ice got kind of bad towards the end so I think as the game goes on it's going to be more important to keep it simple not trying to do too much in the neutral zone. How much are you noticing the home ice advantage. Uh, it's, it's just an exciting atmosphere to play and uh, it's a great crowd and we're, uh, it's going to be a game we're always going to remember and uh, it looks like it's going to be a tight game too so uh, we're having fun with it and uh, hopefully uh, things get better as the game goes on. How do you get on the board again in the second period. Uh, the same thing we did towards the end there we just tried to get bodies and pucks in the net shoot from anywhere. Uh, it was a great goal just hard work from Levier and uh, we need more goals like that. One to one Gary back to you. All right good first period lots of other sports going on we'll be joining Scott Reese our frozen four in a mission the celebration level yeah you tied it up. Some of the sights here at the Frozen Four in Milwaukee. We are in the Bradley Center. It is one to one after one period of play. And up top, I'm Mike Hall, along with my partner Bob Norton here. And of course, there's the two games and then the championship game this weekend that make it such a special weekend of the Frozen Four. But there's also an award being handed out, the Hobie Baker Award. Basically, it's like the Heisman Trophy of college hockey. Well, it is the Heisman Trophy of college hockey. A little bit different than the Heisman. It takes into consideration academics, your great point average, community service, but most important, your skill on the ice. And we're down to the final three. They call it the Hobie Hat Trick. They were down to 10. Now we're at three. The announcement will come tomorrow. Let's start off with someone we're seeing in Brian. Ryan Elliott. Uh, he's a terrific goalkeeper in a school that's had terrific goaltenders over the years. He's had a marvelous season out of Newmarket, Ontario. He leads the nation in almost every goaltending category. He's terrific in save percentage, goals against average. One of the great goaltenders in the history of the University of Wisconsin. And he's going to lead them in almost every category by the time he finished. Tremendous player. And of course, the star of this earlier game this evening we had was Chris Collins with a hat trick, just boosting his performance. Yeah, unfortunately, the votes are in, so Chris. Collins' performance today will go for naught in terms of influencing voters, but he has had a knack of being a big game player for the Eagles and coming up huge for them in key games. Here in this semifinal tonight, three goals in the game, terrific play, short-handed goal over the course of the game. He's made huge plays for BC and got them out of the shoot aggressively right at the beginning of the season. He's a deserving award winner, but there's three deserving award winners in this competition. And the last one we get to is the one who's not actually playing this weekend, Denver's Matt Carl. Well, he's a pretty good player. He's playing for San Jose in the NHL. He's an outstanding defenseman, a top defenseman in the country, WCHA Player of the Year, great offensively, can handle a puck at Boyk and he dangle it and pass it off. But he's, you know, you talk about a player, he's also an outstanding student. He's a valued community servant, uh, community service volunteer, does a lot in the community, and I think that's a part of his total package. If you had to pick a winner out of these final three, who would it be and why? Well, the whole package is Matt Carl, great player, community service, and an outstanding student. Again, you can catch that Hobie Baker presentation tomorrow on ESPNU at 7 o'clock Eastern time. We will be there. Oh, Wisconsin feeling super. It is one to one. Gary and Barry come back next. ESPN 2's presentation of the NCAA Men's Frozen Four. Brought to you by Dial for Men. Be a man. Take back the shower with Dial for Men. And Sonic. It's not just good, it's Sonic good. Well, Barry didn't know he had a favorite mascot in college hockey till he met Bananas of the Maine Black Bears. There he is. That well-known black bear, Bananas. <laughs> it's a 1-1 game, as expected. Two very tough defensive teams going at it. And as we showed you the numbers and the play, it's about as equal as you could get. What I love about these two teams, it's not going to be a gimmick. It's not going to be a trick play that wins this game. It's going to be whichever team wants it the most, whichever team will pay the price. We saw that in the first period. You're going to get hit if you make a play. You've got to go to the net. You've got to screen these two great goaltenders. It's going to be a battle to see who's got the most guts, and I love that about hockey. That's and, the way it's supposed to be played. And, and Barry, as a result of that, the two goals yep. end up being uh, goals that come off their respective teammates. Yeah, it's not going to be a pretty uh, goal scored in this game to win it or whatever. You're going to see the first goal. 
great work down low. Puck hits the defenseman. Uh, uh, Clyde right on the bomb and goes in. Same thing. Lavalier shoots it. Johnson goes to the front of the net. Elliott never even saw the goal. So you've got to make these two great goaltenders fight through traffic to see the puck. Both teams are doing a great job at it. Some of the fans, fans who have made it uh, from Maine, the Badgers with a huge crowd on hand here, close to their home campus. When they got that one nothing lead, they had this house on fire. Maine came back to tie it up and. We're ready to go here in the second period. Faceoffs also about even, 15 13 in favor of Wisconsin. Three shots for Keith Johnson of Maine, the most of any player. A couple for Josh Soares of Maine. On the Badger side, Adam Burrish with a couple of shots, the only uh, multiple shot player. Power plays, unable to convert as both teams' penalty killers got it done. There is Burrish. Who has now picked up a goal and nine assists in the last 13 games that he has played in. He's just trying to keep up with his sister Nikki in the championship they won at Wisconsin on the women's team. Lavalier, who picked up the goal for in Maine, his second goal in seven games, but he's had nine assists in those games as well. Well, I don't think there's any doubt on Maine. Now, Moore's got to score. Lavalier, Lavalier has to score. Suris has to score. There's by far the three best offensive players. All right, we're ready to go. Second period. Off the face off. Joe Dre out there for the Badgers. It'll be one back by Lavalier of Maine. Near side to Moore, number 15 for Maine. That's who he's talking about. A shot to save Maine. Good play by Bishop. Joe Dre came up with a quick chance right there for the Badgers. And we pick up right where we left off with the banging going on all over the ice and a lot of checking at center. Moore was up trying to hold it in along the near side boards. The D will step up on that one. White tried to hold it in, could not. Forwards had to come back to cover for White. Moore sends it. Three on two chance. They'll not be able to convert on that one as the high shot over the head to Moore. Moore tried to feather it along the wall, stole it. He got it back, however. Back to Moore. Moore shot, save made, and covered up. By Elliott. Great pass by Soares down to Moore. Good quick shot by Moore, but again, Elliott squared to the shooter, moves very, very well. Rebounds controlled. Good quick pass. Moore knows he's got men on him. He's got to shoot the puck quick. Elliott just eats him up. Great save. Great save. These goalies, when they see it, they're going to stop it. Rebounds controlled right in front of them. But I, I do. That Moore, he's an, he's an NHL player without a doubt. The way he moves, the way he hits. Number seven in the nation in goals per game for Greg Moore for Maine. Duffy, the defenseman, put that off to Dasher and held it in. Engel was there. Moved back up. Duffy along the blue line. Had it taken away, but not out of the zone. Turned back into the middle. Maine looking for the go-ahead shot. Save Elliott. Rebound. He puts the glove out and hangs on. A great chance for the Bears as Ryan carried it in off the left side. Well, again, nothing fancy. Ryan knows uh, he's got men in front. He knows uh, he's got to get a shot away. Good work down low. Elliott controls the rebound. That's the key to this. Both these teams are going to net so hard. If you're giving up rebounds, you're going to get goal scored on you. Puck goes a little bit in front of Elliott. Very quick with the stick. Brings it back into his body. Ryan Maine's fifth leading scorer, but has not had a point in the last three games. Bears again control off the face on Keith Johnson. Sends it, uh, sent it behind the net. Johnson, it goes off his skates along the near side boards. Battle with Engel. Engel trying to clear it out of there, and did he? A whistle. Main thought that didn't come out of the zone, uh, but it did, and they'll face it off outside the blue line. Great start for Maine in this period. Really, it hasn't been in Maine's end. It's been in Wisconsin's end for basically the first minute and a half. They've had three good scoring chances in that minute and a half. So Maine certainly come out, took the crowd out of the game, except for those three guys. Everything's <laughs> going their way. <laughs> and the uh, face off outside the line here will be uh, won by Carlson. And Wisconsin looking into the middle, a tip pass. Will be dumped in along the near side boards. Bishop back there. Boy, he plays like Brodeur in net. He's always looking to handle the puck, always has his head up, wants to make a pass to get things started if he can. Dump deep for Ramsey back to get it, could not. Good play here with the Badgers. Street who held it in. Street check on the far side. Main looking for the long rink wide. Can't be handled by John Hobson, and that will be whistled. 
on the icing call. We are tied at 1 1 and just underway in the second period. Saturday night, we're going to be right back here as the Frozen Four will conclude with the championship game. Boston College beat North Dakota 6 to 5 this afternoon. They will take on the winner of this game. It's available ESPN Saturday 7 o'clock. It's in the ESPN HD. Tell your cable operator or satellite provider today. Off the draw Bishop as that one rolled along the ice able to knock it away. Double four checkers up force the pass all the way up to the blue line. Maine having trouble clearing out of the zone. Good pressure put on. As the Badgers keep the heat on and uh, that results in the turnover down low played by Brand who helped hold it in. Maine Bellamy on the charge Bellamy a shot save rebound off the body and behind the net. Bellamy got that one down in front ricochet high up into the air and Maine almost got one off another body that time. As that puck was Brent Shepard came charging in. Shepard reached for it couldn't get it. Badgers want to clear they want a line change here and there will be. And icing call on it as they send it in. And let's check in again with Mike. Guys, you talked earlier about Adam Burris being a key to that team. You also mentioned his sister, Nikki. Here she is. She won the women's NCAA championship for Wisconsin. I understand right when the game ended for Adam, he called you. What did you say on the phone to him? I just told him congratulations, and he said the same to me. He was a little more excited for me than I was for him. But it was just really exciting. We were both screaming and being like, oh, my God, this is unbelievable. See, he told me the first thing you said was, where's your title? Yeah, that, he's right. You know, I'm just trying to sound nice, but that's pretty much what I said. Are you going to match what I did? <laughs> Very nice. I also heard, according to Adam, Gary, that she's not even going to let him touch the trophy till he gets his own. Sometimes that's the way it is in hockey. You got to win your own before you get the touch a trophy. Right. Congratulations, though, to Wisconsin on the women's championship. That one sent back uh, in. Joe Dre dumped it back in for Wisconsin. Looking for the centering pass, no one to go to. Good play. Uh, Moore, Lavalier, and Soares out there on the four check. Move back to Moore in the middle. Moore sends it in, trying to get by the D. Good move into the corner. Lubberston stayed right with him. Lubberston is right there as he uh, kept Moore to the outside. Main clears. Moore's will Moore will take the hit along the near side boards, and that'll send the Bears deeper into their own end. It is tough sledding out there. Lavalier comes back to comes back to help. They want Maine wants to get a line change here. They need one. Suarez will move that one into the middle. Puck check. Whoa, what a redirection it ended up on net. Brett Tyler coming out of nowhere for Maine. Well, he's a defenseman, so I don't know what he's doing in there, leading the rush for Maine. But he got in there and got a stick on this pass into the front of the net. Elliott was aware that he was coming. Certainly. Uh, Saw the puck coming also made a made a tough save look pretty easy right here. Controlled it with a stick, covered up with his glove, but good aggressive play by Tyler just going to the front of the net there. Saw that he had lots of forwards back and he could take a chance. Red Tyler had seven goals during the season from that defensive position for Maine. Face off uh, will be one back to the point. White is out there, dropped it. They head to the front of the net trying to get it set up. Ryan, Ryan took it all the way around the boards for Maine into the middle. Shot save made again. Big save by Elliott on the quick wrist shot. Big opportunity and now a big pile up and a penalty coming on Wisconsin. The extracurricular activity will cost the Badgers in front of the net as Ryan got knocked down. Great start of this period by Maine, as I mentioned before. Dominating the play, attacking the front of the net. Elliott knows that if he drops a puck, there's a good chance to rebound to the score. He's got people in front of him, he's got people beside him. A little bit of frustration right there by Gilbert. Just good hard nosed hockey by Ryan. Tom Gilbert's going to draw the penalty. The two minute minor will give Maine another power play opportunity here in this 1 1 game. And the Bears will bring out uh, Damon to take this face off. Damon against Brandt. Damon won the draw. Rister knocked away by Elliott on the point chance. Main power play. Neither team has been able to convert on it yet. The power play opportunity. Source sent it to the side of the net. Knocked away by Engel. Regaining possession. Maine along the boards into the point. Boy, Wisconsin fighting through it. Short handed opportunity. Carlson into the middle, makes the move, shot, and stop. What a play! Ross Carlson! Well, Gary Maine uses a forward on the point in the power play. Lavalier, and he got beat. Physically at the point, he stood in, he tried to keep the puck in. 
Carlson just gets it, jumps right by him, makes another beautiful play right there on Tyler, and a good quick shot that just trickles through the pads of Bishop. And if Maine has an Achilles heel, that's it. They have now given up 12 shorthanded goals this year. Ross Carlson, the shorthanded, is 11th goal overall in the year, and Wisconsin takes the 2 to 1 lead. If you're going to play a defenseman in that situation, Gary, he pulls out, or if the puck gets by him, he doesn't let the man get by him. If you're going to play a forward in the power, point in the power, play, it's going to cost you some time. It certainly did there for me. Carlson at 418 on the shorthanded goal. Main still on a power play. Pops it up. Lavelski, his shot save made by Bishop. Good forechecking chance. As Wisconsin, Pavelski working down low, keeping Maine hemmed in with a minute left to go on the Bears' power play. Trying to get it set up. Lundin from behind his own net. Now Maine will move into the offensive zone. Great effort by the Badgers. They tried to keep that heat on and did. Mike Hamilton battling in the corner along the boards. Duffy holds it in. Sent deeper. Hobson in behind the net. John Hobson and Keenan Hobson, the brothers on the power play unit, played off uh, the boards but not deep enough to hold it in. Cleared out by Likens. Both teams changing on the fly. Duffy will come back. You see what we're talking about with Maine on the short-handed goal. Way but too many. That's way too many. Those are game-changing goals. Second most in the nation in short-handed goals surrendered. Damon brought it in, bumped away. 12 seconds left on the main power play, but it's Wisconsin putting the heat on here. First line comes out for Maine on their power play unit. Travis Ramsey, Tyler on the far side. He just gets rubbed out of the play by Jake Dowell, and the penalty is over. So not only does Maine not convert on the power play, they give up the short-handed goal, and it costs them as it's a two-to-one lead for the Badgers. And they lost all the momentum. They had all the momentum at the start of the period. They were dominating play. Damon in, shot, block. Damon reaching back in behind Ingles, trying to get to it. Damon trying to center, can't get it there. We're five on five. Hockey now from the point. Lundin, that one deflects, and that'll go up and into the netting. So this tough physical game continues. Wisconsin has led twice. They are now up two to one. Well, if you're going to be uh, win big games, your great players have to be great, as uh, Boston College's uh, great players were in the previous game. But also, your role players have to get the job done. Ross Carlton, a 10 goal scorer, uh, made three great plays on that shorthanded goal. Beat Lavalier in the point, beat uh, Tyler Wright uh, in the middle, and then made a great shot and beat the goaltender Ben Bishop. So awesome uh, play by Carlton. Street wins the faceoff as Wisconsin in their own end won the draw. They move it out through the middle. They had two back. Trying to cover on Carlson, who's hot off the side of the net. Got a hot stick, get him right back on the ice. Carlson, another chance. Bouncing puck. Save made. Bishop. Well, that one came right up into his chest as he was down on his knees to make that save. Carlson helps to hold it in again. Undine sends it around the far side. Still not out of the zone. Wisconsin open. Here's a shot. That one rising over the net. Big time chance for the Badgers. Boy, they're trying to, trying to put away here in a two goal lead. They're putting the heat on Maine. Jankus moved that one out of there. Couldn't be handled by Bellamy. Here come the Badgers right back the other way. Backhand chance. And a save made. But what pressure Jack Skilly that time coming down the boards on Wisconsin fans on their feet here in Milwaukee. Wisconsin National Championships have piled up five of them. It's their 22nd NCAA appearance, the 11th. Final four that they have been involved in, but it's the first time in 14 years that they have been back with that 1990 championship being the last that they have won. But always one of the premier college hockey programs in yeah. the country. Everybody wants to play for the Badgers. Madison's a great hockey town. They got a great arena. They're always one of the top draws in college hockey, and they're usually one of the best teams in college hockey. Although they did go through a dry spell for a few years, but Mike Eves has got things straightened out here again. Maine for checking Wisconsin even though Maine won the draw again unable to do anything with it set off the dash at Earl Earl will dump it Lavelski out there with him along with Burrish on the first line centering pass all the way to the point shot save made rebound that'll be covered up big wrister 
Clover Tans from the blue line sent it in. Earl was looking for the rebound, and every time at either end when that puck's near the goaltender, you have a mass of people around it. Man, when momentum leaves you, it leaves you. Maine had all the momentum. Everything was going their way. Now they can't get it out of their end. Wisconsin's winning all the battles. Wisconsin's getting all the loose pucks. Bishop knows now if he drops a puck, there's going to be a rebound scored against him. Puts a lot of pressure on him. So that goal completely changed the makeup of this second period. These teams have met 12 times before. Wisconsin has won eight of the 12 games played. And a penalty coming up on Maine. Damon is going to the penalty box. A result of the scrum that was going on in front. And that's going to give Wisconsin a power play chance with a 2 to 1 lead. Well, not a great penalty because of a retaliation penalty in front of your net. But let's see if Maine can do to uh, Wisconsin what Wisconsin just did to Maine. We've seen a lot of short handed goals today already, Gary. I think we've yep. seen four, right? Yes, we have. We've seen more short handed goals and power play goals by far. Power play units have not had a lot of <laughs> success, I'll tell you. And it'll be held in by the Badgers here as they go to work on the power play. Lavelski, number eight, they'll try and set up in front of the net. There he is, tipping it, and that one just went wide. That's what he does best on the power play. Burrish working with him in the corner. Burrish the puck for the Badgers. Lavowski looking back on the other side. And Burrish moves the other way. Comes up the wall. It'll be intercepted. Maine's got a chance for a two on one short handed. Here's more. More shot. And a save made off the shoulder by Elliott. Short handed chance for Maine. Moore struck to the puck. Here's a two on one on the other way. Earl brings it in. Shot. Stop. Well, Gary, about three things happened on this goal. Number one, it was a great save on the two on one short handed by me. Brian Elliott made the key save at the right time. The right guy got the shot more. It was a great shot off the left shoulder. Maine tried to make a change right here. Tyler Wright tried to change. The bench was not ready for Tyler Wright to change. Nobody jumped on the ice. Thus, the two-on-one was created the other way, and Wisconsin ends up going up 3-1 instead of a 2-2 tie. Power play goal, the second leading goal scorer for Wisconsin Earl with his 22nd. And seven of those have come on the power play this year. And it is a 3-1 lead. The goal at 8-16, Earl from Burrish. Burrish now with a goal and an assist in this game. And they're not done yet. Wisconsin, they're keeping the heat on. Shot deflected before it ended up on Bishop. Rolls back up uh, to the far side point. Likens able to hold it in. Boy, Wisconsin, when they get it rolling, and we talked about the momentum they can get with all the crowd that they got here. And they can get momentum going, and they got a two goal lead now. They can really feel it. Skilly got it out in front, turn around, chance knocked away. Bishop just stood up, side of the net. Big time pressure put on. Maine needs a clear. Take down on the far side. Still loose. Puck rolls to the wide side corner. Hobson will clear it around. Hobson still unable to get it out of the zone. Maine unable to get this out. Line changes going on for the Badgers, who can sense it now that they've got a shot at another one. Leading it here three to one. Bishop comes back. Both teams change. Fans applauding the effort of the Badgers. It'll be an icing call. The Badgers power play goal picked up by Earl. Gives them a three a one a lead midway through this game. Shots now at 19-15 in favor of Wisconsin. More importantly, though, their first two-goal lead of the game, three to one over Maine. And the Badger fans up and letting it rip. Brant will move in to take the draw for the Badgers. They've got the ice tilted in their favor right now. Brant won the draw. And Dean came away with the puck. Great pressure here, though, by the Badgers to keep that play in. Three and two opportunity the other way now for Maine. Bellamy, Bellamy, the puck stayed behind him. As he lost control of it. Jankus and Shepard out there on this line. Bellamy looking for the rebound. Delayed call coming up. Penalty's going to be in the Badgers. It'll be a hooking call, and Maine will get the power play chance. 
Well, the last time a power play happened to Maine was the best thing could ever happen to Wisconsin. They took over the game and scored two goals since then, completely changed the momentum of this game. You can see the puck right there. You're going to see Mullen just hook down the man. And when you're winning 3-1, that's going to be called every time. And the power play faceoff will come in the offensive end for Maine. One by Moore. Back to Lavalier. His shot screamed over the head of Elliott. Elliott did not see that. He had a lot of players in front of him that time. Power play for the Bears underway here. Lavalier, one timers. That one uh, either hit the goaltender or the post. Oh, then by Tyler looking. Lavalier is the man they want to get the puck to. Shot from the point save made. Rebound. Scrum in front. Moore couldn't get a stick on it. Batted away. Lavalsky will move it out for Wisconsin. Well, that's why they have Lavalier there is to shoot the puck. He got a good shot away, and you're right. Elliott made a great glove save using his blocker. And Damon trying to take that more pass and do something with it, could not. Bishop will come back to get it. Wisconsin will change up on their penalty killing unit. Ross Carlson's awesome. Man. He's in the middle of everything. He's hitting, he's scoring goals, he's killing penalties. Awesome player. The junior who's out there, Damon, moves it in off the near side. Power play for Maine, down to a minute three left to go on it. Not a lot of room. Derek Damon in the corner gets it by Moore back up onto the point here. Again, keeping Lavalier the forward on the point. Off the far side boards and an easy clear, or it should have been. Carlson didn't get it out of there. Maine was changing as well. Still a held in at the point and dumped. And Dean got it back in behind the net. And as a result, Wisconsin could not clear and could not get a change there. Let's see if it matters. Lavalier, shot, save, rebound is out of the zone. And Dean will come back to get it. 29 left on the main power play. Maine completes a line change. Good strip of the puck. And again, it was Carlson. Carlson clears it in. Bishop will just leave it there. Lavalier coming back to get it. The forward working the point. 16 on the power play for Maine. Down the looking back into the middle. Open shot. Got blocked out deep. Lundin had a chance, but shot it right into the defender. McMurchie was standing there right in front of him and blocked the shot. And that's going to do it on the power play. Good job by the Badgers penalty killing unit again. And we're back to five on five hockey as Maine's unable to convert on the power play chance at third of the game. Set off the near side too far ahead for Brent Shepard. And it remains a Wisconsin lead. 753 to go in the second. Three to one Badgers. Well, another one of the Wisconsin boys that play for uh, the University of Wisconsin, of course, is uh, Joel Pavelski, leading this team in scoring most of the year. He takes most of the big draws. Very solid two-way player, as most of the Wisconsin players are. Very well coached by uh, Mike Eves and the coaching staff. Very solid uh, player. You can put him in any situation, as most of the main players are and most of the uh, Wisconsin players are. Yeah. Very few one-way offensive players on either team. You can't do that on these teams, the way they play defense. It'll be chased out with the Badgers back in uh, their own end. Tom Gilbert lost a shot save. Big one rebound shot. Another save made. Two big ones by Elliott. As Maine getting chances on the turnovers. Billy Ryan, that backhander, flipped up in the air. And finally cleared out. And it was Maine putting the pressure on that time. With Brent Shepard having the last opportunity. Taken back by Josh Engel. Engel a sophomore. Pass across ice. Gilbert moved it out of there. Maine will change up here behind the play. Set in. White goes back to get it. White. Long pass up. Tried to knock it down. Could not. But there'll be no whistle on this. Forcing Grisky to come back to play it. And the Badgers come back into the middle. Trying to open things up a little bit here. That one off on the glove side and high. Both teams flying on the ice right now. Did not wait long enough to clear the zone. Maine got it back, but that'll be whistled on the hand pass with 6.52 to go. Saturday, you can get your first look at Bob Stoops' Oklahoma Sooner football team. ESPN will bring you to Norman. It'll be a spring practice game. College football spring game, ESPN, Saturday at 2 Eastern. Well, I can guarantee you the coaches talked to Tommy Gilbert when he went over to the bench because he had complete control of the puck. He had his head up. He just threw it into the slot right on the main player's stick. Pucks go on the wall now. You don't throw it in the middle when you're winning 3-1. Everything goes to the side. Nothing goes through the middle. Damon against Pavelski on the faceoff. Damon won it in his own end. Ramsey will drop it off. Flipped high in the air by Tyler out of the zone. It uh, will get down there across the line, but they wave it off. No whistle on it. 
Lewiski had it, lost it, shot, and another save. Got through that. Elliott and a penalty coming again. It's going to be on Wisconsin. Main player down at the side of the net on a shot from behind that Keith Johnson got leveled on. And again, Maine's going to get the power play, and Eve's not happy that his team keeps this door open. Keith Johnson just gets absolutely crushed in front of the net. If his helmet's not tied on, it's off right now. Damon, great shot through traffic. See that helmet jump? But again, front of the net, he's got to make sure Elliott's fighting to see that puck. Goal could have been scored. Now Maine's got another power play chance because Johnson going in the front of the net so hard. Olinger picks up the penalty. Power play opportunity, the fourth of the game for Maine. They are down here. It was a high sticking call at 13-23. And the Bears go back on the power play. This is a big part of their offense during the season. Good poke into the zone to hold it in. Nice play made by Soares on that. They lost it off the uh, far side. Uh, Carlson able to clear it out of there. Short-handed opportunity. Brings it all the way in. He's already got one goal. Carlson just ragging off. Important seconds on the main power play. I love him. He's my favorite player now. I love that guy. He left the stick and glove on the ice. You don't need it anymore. <laughs> he just killed off 40 seconds. It's more from center. Wisconsin's penalty killing against Maine is to come out and meet him at center ice, and it is working. Lavelski able to clear that. Minute eight left to go on the Bears power play. Bishop will hold it up in behind the net. Lavalier comes back to get it. Long rink wide. Ada come back though. Kevin Hobson. Third it up the wall. Can't be handled by Hamilton. He's got to go deeper into the zone to get it. He does. Pays the price as Engel put the weight on him. Power play still underway. Lundin drops it. One timer shot. Save made into the glove. Saw that one all the way as Matt Duffy had the chance. There's one of the uh, not only great coaches, recruiters, but also one of the best goaltending coaches in the nation in college, Grant Stanbrook. And a big Wisconsin connection. Twelve seasons as the assistant coach, and now one of the longtime assistants at Maine. Well, I'll tell you, nobody's produced more goaltenders in Wisconsin. You've got Richter, you've got Cujo, so many great goaltenders coming out of that hockey program. Another save made by Elliott. As he had a bouncing puck moving in, 38 left on the power play. Lavalier comes back to get it. He and Tyler working on the point. That's Tyler. Comes rink wide with it this time. Maine, Damon, Damon, soars along the boards with him. Drops it back to Lavalier. They want Lavalier to shoot that puck. Soares has it. The other D cuts in. Drop down low. They cycle it here, but only 17 left on the advantage. Damon dropped it off. It spin around Soares. Soares shot. Partially fanned on. And it'll be moved out of the zone by the Badgers again. They are shorthanded. They bring it in. Good job by Gilbert that time. And he'll head to the bench after getting it into the corner. And the power play is over. So again, Maine does not convert back to full strength as the penalty killing unit of Wisconsin getting it done. Likens goes to get it. Fanned on it. Got enough of it though to be able to move it. Hope checked away into the middle. Maine a turnover. White looking. His shot. Save made. Midsection of Elliott. You cannot go through the middle against Maine. That thing is totally plugged up. They're gobbling up passes. It's going to cost the Wisconsin. They don't smarten up. Go up the wall with it. You don't go through the middle unless you're 100% sure. That's two times now they've tried to go up the middle. Two times been totally intercepted by a Maine player. Maine with a shot edge now, 24 to 19. But Brian Elliott, number one in goals against, number one in save percentage in Division One hockey, has risen to the occasion. And Dean's shot again does not go through a big batch of people in front of the net. Back in behind the net. Jenkins looking for somebody. And it's trying to sneak a man in, Rod Bellamy, but he couldn't handle a pass. Bishop will just drop that one off for White. White reversing direction. And Dean. Good for checking again. Kicked away. Badgers keep crisscrossing in front of the main skaters here as they try to move it through the middle. Bellamy. Hope checked off the puck that time by Street. Maine's got a man deep in the zone, so they can't dump it down there. And Dean will have to play it back in his own end. 3.38 to go here in the second period. 1-1 one, one at the end of one, but two goals here in the second, and the Badgers have the two-goal lead. It's chipped out of the zone, and this will be an icing call. And right now, the going gets tough. We have flurries of offense, but for the most part, it is a defensive struggle. 
Crowd having a good time here in the second game of the Frozen Four semifinal. BC winning over North Dakota earlier today. Well, school's all time leading scorer happens to be the coach of the team now, turned the franchise around. He's got two sons also in the NHL, Ben and Patrick Eves, both uh, playing in the NHL right now. So quite a hockey family, great hockey family. Doing a little work over there, coaching wise, on the side. Don't go through the middle with the puck, you guys. <laughs> It'll be moved out by the Badgers who won that face off. Bishop is going after it. Thought he was going to get a whistle, then wasn't sure, and uh, did get the whistle. And the face off will be back in the Wisconsin end. As uh, Ben Bishop has given up the three goals on the 19 shots from Wisconsin. Big kid who earned the job this year as the number one goaltender. Maine was not sure who they were going to have as Jimmy Howard did not come back. So they were looking for a goaltender when the year started. I think they found him for a few years to come because he's been very solid in this game. He's been very solid all year. Love his technique. I love his movement. Very agile, very athletic for a kid that big. Moore drops it back to the point where five on five here. It bounces off the uh, back of the net. Burge. Burge takes the hit, has the puck up against the wall. We'll send it back in behind the net. And right now, Wisconsin, the better of it as far as moving the puck up ice. They found a little room. Burge going back. Bishop had it, went straight up in the air. Burrish used his body to try and keep that puck in. Moore trying to get to it, could not. Held it, rolling a shot, and that'll be held onto by Bishop. And another penalty coming, and it's going to be on Kowalski for pushing a man into the goaltender. Wisconsin's got to be careful. They, they got everything going their way right now. They're playing super hockey. You got a 3 1 lead. Brian Elliott looks awesome in net, looks unbeatable in net. They can't give Maine chances that, the, that aren't needed. Rob Earl makes a great hit just before this happens on the wall. Sends a great message. Right here, great hit by Earl. Puck goes to the front of the net, and Pavelski takes a, a cheap uh, push and penalty. You can't give the referee a chances to make these calls. You just don't need to. It's a goaltender interference call, 17-11. So Maine will go on the power play again and a chance to make this a one goal game late in the second period if they can get one on the power play. They've not had success on it so far. Duffy comes to the blue line. He'll send it in. Hard wrap around Likens and it bounces off the dasher. Took a main bounce that time as they held it in. Duffy will be working a point. There he is on the near side. They set two up in front trying to get it down low shot. Deflected before it ever got through. So many players in that slot area, it's hard to get a puck through. Held in on the far side by Billy Ryan. Shot save made by Elliott. Bad angle, but a pretty good chance. And boy, the hitting. Oh, the man. Has to pick up here. Hamilton, you're getting cross checked. You're getting this old. This is 1970 Philadelphia Flyer hockey in front of that net, man. I think I saw Ed Van Imp come on off the bench last time for Wisconsin. <laughs> You go in front of the net, you're going to pay a price. Lubertans is in front here, protecting. Well, Bellamy thought he'd maybe catch Ryan or catch Elliott off the post, but Elliott ain't going to fool fall for that. He was right there on the post, eating her up. Really not that warm here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> and those guys should be wearing shirts even <laughs> if it is hot. That's exactly right. You should have to have a chest before you can take your shirt off. Knocked down Lavalier, held it in momentarily at least. Lavalier in the corner trying to get it away from Gilbert. Good battle by Gilbert, but not able to move it out of the zone. One timer near side, that one goes wide. That got ripped by Damon, who's working a point. Lavalier, they move from the point down low now. A minute four left in the power play. Another short handed opportunity at the other end. And Pope checked away into the corner by Damon. Damon reached out, but Wisconsin still controlling the puck. Dowell. Hit from behind, had him in a headlock. The two 11s, Lavalier and Dow going at it. Here's Moore. Moore's not been able to get involved in this game offensively the way May needs him to be involved. Not a hard enough wraparound. Lubert Lubertas knocked that one away. Still uh, held in by the Bears. Power play down to 33 seconds for Maine. They're trying to get it to Moore. Shot save made. Rebound shot. No! Saved by Elliott. Elliott with two. Jarring saves right when they needed the most, and a penalty coming on Maine. Derek Damon had the second chance. They're both great chances. Both of them could have went in very easily, but Elliott moved so well. Good puck movement here by Maine. There's the first shot, comes across, not even close to not being there. 
And then a bad penalty taken by Maine after that. Instead of being 3 2, now it's 3 1, and you're going to have a power play in 24 seconds. Great save by Elliott. Great movement by Elliott. Ryan Elliott is on, came in with a tremendous streak, streak of over 252 minutes without giving up a goal. Extended that into the first period. He's given up just one, and his team's got a 3 to 1 lead. Maine finally gets the movement they want. They finally get the shot they want. And Elliott's there to eat up both shots. Great goaltending, great movement, squared up both shots. Minute 12 to go in the period. 24 seconds left on the Wisconsin penalty. Then they will have a power play. So four on four for the moment. And it was Keenan Hobson who won the faceoff, the penalty charging, uh, rather unsportsmanlike conduct called on uh, the Bears. Centering pass. He didn't see that coming, but he had the great position along the post. Elliott did and knocked it away. Ramsey knocks that one down at center. Still four on four. Now the power play. A minute 37 worth of power play time for Wisconsin. Maine is shorthanded. Pop it up. Pavlovsky was trying to go in and had it poke checked away. Pavlovsky was moving and Mullen reached in and took it away. Bears clear it up. They are shorthanded now on the near side. Hobson trying to knock it away. Takes his man down. It is sent in deep shot. Save made. And we're down to 25 seconds left to go in the period. Maine will change up on their penalty killing unit. Earl try to give him one more. Pavlovsky back to Earl. Earl gets hauled down. Shepard got the stick in on him to take him away. Fans want another call and they're going to get it. This is going to be another penalty against Maine. And it's going to be Brent Shepard who's going to be called for it. And with 56 left on the first penalty, Wisconsin's going to be up two on the ice. Maine's losing their composure. It's only a two goal game. Lots of time, lots of things can happen. They've had goal scoring chances. They can't lose their composure like this. Pavelski's down there working low. That, that's a tough call when, when you got 54 seconds, anyways. The way this hitting's been going on in this game. Is it a penalty? Probably. Jim Whitehead of Maine. He doesn't like it either. Arguing with the official about it. Maine beating Harvard 6 1 and Michigan State 5 4 to get here. Now they are down two. Gilbert looking, shot, deflected, rebound just wide of the net. Pavlovsky had the chance. It goes around the other way. Pavlovsky with two great chances. And boy, there's a little sticking going on as the players head to the dressing rooms. A heated matchup as it has to be when two teams play as tightly. A defensive game as they do. Wisconsin leads at three to one, and they almost picked one up at the buzzer on their last chance. Well, Maine's not focusing right now. The seven seconds left in this game, or in that period, you should not be giving up a chance like that with seven seconds left. Very lucky they're not going in there for uh, one. Took a little bounce off the post. Let's take a look at our Coke Zero game track. But Gary, the numbers are just like against uh, North Dakota. North Dakota's power play was terrible. It's one of the main reasons they got to the Frozen Four. Couldn't score in the first game. Maine's power play has been very good up to this point. Zero for six already in two periods. That's a difference in the game. One for two for Wisconsin. Zero for six for Maine. And a shorthanded goal short given goal up by Maine yep. as well. Let's get out of Mike. All right, here with the guy who scored the first goal of the game, Adam Burrish. Uh, how physical is it out there on the ice right now? It's a war. I mean, what you'd expect in this kind of environment, this kind of uh, atmosphere. It's a, it's a battle every game. You got to work for, and that's what makes these games so much fun. You know, from a different type of battle. Now we talked to your sister Nikki earlier on. She didn't say anything about taunting in your face. She said it was all about love and pride and respect. What's with that? Yeah, once you call her out, she'll she'll play the sweet nice girl thing. She does that around the house and at school too. But it was all trash talk, and hopefully we're doing our part now. One more period left, and hopefully after the, after Saturday I can talk some trash to her. Four periods away from his own championship, Gary. Thanks, guys. I think he said his sister was sandbagging him. I think that's what I he said. I think that's what he said. That's what, that's what I took from it. <laughs> Celebration on the 3-1 goal. More coming up. Scott Reese in a moment. Since we last saw you, or at least saw Norty, there have been two goals scored, both of them for the Badgers. They have a 3-1 lead here in the Bradley Center. Up here in Suite 349, Mike Hall along with the man they named Streets after, Bob Norton. And uh, it's a different game right now. Take us through the Home Depot coaching clinic and tell us why. Well, two special team errors, one on power play. Maine's had trouble all year long on power play. Give up their 12th goal of the year on power play when Levier mishandles the puck in the second. On shorthand, Moore gets stuck inside and creates a man advantage opportunity for Wisconsin. 
Let's look at it here. Yeah, here's the first play. You're going to see Levier along the board trying to keep the puck in. Carlson out of Duluth, the junior, gets his first career shorthanded goal, and what a dandy it was. Terrific play, and boy, did that get the crowd into it. Here's Moore. This is shorthand. He's stuck inside. That's one less guy. Now they create a two-on-one opportunity up the other way, and Robbie Earl puts it away. Two mistakes on special teams. Wisconsin buries both of them. All year long, Maine's given up goals when they were on power play, and they did it again tonight. It's been a killer. That got this red crowd into the game. <laughs> what do you think about Brian Elliott's performance? Uh, terrific. Every time uh, Maine has a chance to get the equalizer or get the goal to bring him within one, he just stuffs him. He's been terrific. You know, he, the only goal he gave up tonight was bumped in off his own guy. Right. He's been absolutely terrific in the tournament. We talked to Adam Burrish, and he said it was so physical out there, he called it a war. Have you seen a physical game like this in a while? Absolutely. These are two teams in which they just give no quarter. They're both playing the same style, and the two errors, Maine had advantage, and they gave up that goal on power play. Tremendous. Get this crowd into the whole game and then they give up another goal when Dougie Moore gets stuck inside and Robbie Earl buries it on a 2 on one You can't make those mistakes in this tight a game. And quickly, we were talking earlier, it's a different type of physical game than the Cornell one Wisconsin Yeah, played. Cornell was all against the wall. It was a sweatshop against the wall. This game has been a flow game up and down. Long periods of uninterrupted ice time. But great defense on both teams' part. First team to make a mistake or blink loses and Maine made two in that period. They were killers. Wisconsin just 20 minutes away from heading to the championship game to face BC. That's it for us. Gary and Barry have the call for the third period after this. ESPN 2's presentation of the NCAA Men's Frozen Four. Brought to you by Pontiac, the official performance machines of the NCAA. And Dial for Men. Be a man. Take back the shower with Dial for Men. Wisconsin a period away from moving on to the championship game and perhaps more importantly for them right now they're going to start this third period with a two man advantage. Barry Melrose I'm Gary Thorne welcome back. Power play zero for six main uh, and giving up a shorthand goal that's a difference in the game we saw it happen in North Dakota. Uh, you can't score in a power play you're not going to win games in a close checking style like this game is against Wisconsin. Exactly before the game the officials had a chance to meet with the captains for these two teams. It uh, was Greg Moore for Maine Adam Burrish for Wisconsin listen in. Our goal is to make sure every every face off is fair. I know it's an emotional game, but let's try to avoid anything after the whistle. You know, just let's keep it in between the whistles. I don't think I need to say any more than that. That's it. Good luck, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Good, Good luck. luck. Thanks, guys. Good, Good luck. luck. Thank you very much. Luck. Good luck. Good luck. Thanks. Good luck. Dave Hansen, who is the referee for this game. Leading that meeting before and not much you can say uh, both of these clubs as you've seen with the style of game they play officials know that trying to keep it under control and uh, what they want to let the hitting go as far as they can but some of the cross checking hits from behind that sort of stuff they've gotten into. I have a tear in my eye. There was so much love in that room. It's disgusting. <laughs> That's why you have the meeting before the game. There you see it Brian, after. That's right. <laughs> Brian Elliott trying to put away the win. And uh, a 49 second two man advantage to start the third period for Wisconsin. A big moment in this game uh, here in the third. The face off one, Pavelski won it. Maine has had the advantage in face offs through periods one and two, 29 25. Two man advantage. Knocked out of the zone by the Bears. Wisconsin will try and get this thing set up their first line out there Earl Burrish as Pelosky along the near side Pavelski rather Pavelski turning it they've got three players Wisconsin does all over there in the corner Earl leaving it Maine back down low in that inverted diamond they can move in even more if they want shot by Earl got blocked by the captain Moore put the body down Earl leaves it 12 left on the two man trying to find a little room in front one timer Earl hit it off the heel of the stick and wide John Dre dropped it it rolls in taken away and Maine will clear it out 
Great block by Moore on that initial shot. That set up the whole penalty killing. If that shot gets through, May might start running around. He gave up his body. That's what leadership's all about. Elliott had trouble handling that puck. May went back and got it. Five on four now. Maine still short-handed. Good effort of ice by Damon. Derek Damon with that puck against the wall. Earl on his back. Wisconsin finally get it. Likens will start it up for the Badgers. Yeah, they want to change, so he dropped it back, ragged it a little bit, sent deeper into the zone. Power plays. Got 35 seconds left on it for Wisconsin. Wisconsin has made uh, line changes here on their power play unit. Carlson has been red hot second period. Four shots on goal and a goal. Five on four power play save made. Not oh. away. Bishop that went straight up in the air. Straight up in the air. Likens able to hold it in. Carlson dropped it off. Polk checked away and Lavalier cleared it up to the point not up but that passes out of there. Penalty's got 10 seconds remaining on it. Likens had it lost it. Polk checked away. Steve uh, Mullen moved in for Maine and knocked it away. Pass up ice. They do not connect on it. Mullen lets it go. There'll be no whistle on it. The penalty is over. So Maine has withstood the two man and then the five on four. We're back to five on five hockey. This will be an icing call. Well, Gary, if Maine does come back and win this game, Wisconsin can look at that five on three because they basically went out there and were killing it off. They never really tried to attack the net. They kept it on the perimeter, took the one shot, which Moore blocked, and really never got it to the net after that. So great kill by Maine, something they can build on, but Wisconsin certainly uh, did not have the right frame of mind, that killer instinct. They could have put Maine away with a goal in that five on three. A two goal edge here in the third period and Rawls Carlson with the four shots through two periods as the leader in that department for both of these teams. Burrish Lavalier one one at the end of the first period Carlson and Earl with a shorthanded and power play goal respectively in the second period to give Wisconsin the two goal edge Bishop left it back in behind the net. Right here, White moved it up the wall. Jenkins drops it off far side. They go wide with it. Shepard's coming in the middle. Shot save made and pulled back in by Elliott. Shepard cruising in looking for a rebound. Doesn't have one. Gets uh, knocked down from behind on top of the goaltender. Well, Maine's got to start activating their D because Wisconsin's going to have guys back. They're going to focus on not giving up any outnumber chances. So you got an activated D. Turn a two on two into a three on two. Turn a, a, a one on one into a two on one. Things like that. You don't take outrageous chances, but you got to be more aggressive offensively because Wisconsin is going to make sure they have men back. They're going to have numbers on every play. John and Keenan Hobson, the two brothers out there, number 13 and number 17 for Maine on that line change. Hobson on the uh, faceoff won that one. Street pinned his man up for Wisconsin, cleared back in uh, behind the net. John Hobson, who played two and a half years at Alaska Fairbank, wanted to join his brother. So he came down to Maine, and uh, the senior getting to play with his brother Keenan, who was a sophomore. Carlson along the boards. Want to play in better weather. <laughs> Just barely. Back in behind the net. Nobody's got control of this thing. Maine will finally dig that one out, and Keenan Hobson gets it up the boards. Bears back on the attack. Hamilton pushes it down the wall. John Hopkins came back to get it. Hobson could not control it, though. Tyler stepped up. Poked along the wall. Tyler held it in. There's the D activated. Tyler down low. Shot by Hamilton. Gets blocked into the corner. And uh, picked up by Drewiski, who clears it out for the back. Loose at center. Street cleared it into the zone. Cleared right back out again. Back Olinger. He'll pick it up from Elliott. Both teams on line changes. 22 28. Shots in favor of Maine, but not the score. Bump straight up in the air. Badgers clear the zone and send it in. Maine will have to go deep to get it. Look for a little room as they've got their third line out there right now. At center, Ryan had it, lost it. Great poke, poke check to clear it away. Ravelski got the stick on that. Bishop, he had two wrong color jerseys around him, trying to find a little help as he moved the puck behind the net. Johnson tried to break, couldn't. Poke checked away from him. Badgers again want to change it up. Ryan's got it. Ryan comes over the blue. Ryan drops it off. Damon down the middle. Damon trying to draw it back in. Camp rolled just to the top of the crease that time. Play behind the net. The D indeed are moving into the play for Maine. Shot save made. Elliott rebound shot save. And he will cover that one up. Two chances for the Bears as Keith Johnson at the second. Still Wisconsin by two. 
Wisconsin looking to move on uh, to the final Saturday. Maine trying to do the same here to take on Boston College. There are the brothers we were talking about. The brothers Hobson from Prince George, British Columbia. One went north to Anchorage for a while. Decided he wanted to finish his uh, college career with his brother in Maine. Prince George is not great weather in Prince George either, Gary. These two kids have, have never had a tan in their life, I can guarantee you. They enjoy winter weather, is that what you're saying? They enjoy winter, yes. Thank you very much. Uh, again, the freshman goaltender coming out to play it. Maine looking for a little room. George drops it off. Here's Moore. Moore moving it in, shuts it down. Shot save right along the ice. Elliott there. Clean look, clean save. Clean look, but again, good shot. Puck, if he, that jumps in front of him again, trouble. He's been controlling his rebounds great. We'll check in with Mike again. Guys, you're talking about the uh, Hobson brothers. They room together on all their road trips. They live together when they're off campus. Things are really fine in their comfort. Keenan has assisted John on all his postseason goals this year, and both of them agree John is better at everything but ping pong where Keenan kicks his butt. That'll be some brotherly love going on there. Tyler. Now it's getting weird. <laughs> Tyler shot deflected. <laughs> that did not get through to the goaltender. Lavalier comes away with it. Lavalier turns it into the middle. Bouncing puck. And the main will send the D up now. That was Ramsey who moved in. That could create opportunities on man the other way. With Maine dropping one D down low. Bishop knocks that one away. Wisconsin wants to change. Maine's trying these long ring wide passes to free it up. Not getting it there. There's a hook. Do we get a penalty shot? Save made. Rebound goes to the corner. This is going to be a delayed whistle. And there it is as Degenhardt puts it up against the boards. Didn't quite have the step. It'll be a two minute minor. He had a step on the one main defenseman, but the other main defenseman uh, was between him and the net. That's why there's no penalty shot called. But again, you're going through the middle of the rink. Wisconsin is hoping you go through the middle of the rink. I tell you, that's close, though. That's close to being a penalty shot. Nick Lakari with a nice play, the senior out of Duluth, Minnesota. Lakari intercepted at the blue line, took it in, the hooking call. Lavalier draws it. And here's a power play chance. They must have been thinking Ramsey 27 could get over and get him before he got to the net. I'm not sure about that. I'm not either. Power play chance for the Badgers. And obviously the next goal in this game is vital. It's either 4-2 Wisconsin or 3-2 Wisconsin and a very big difference. Maine unable to clear that out of the zone. They will there. And the D will come back to play it. Gilbert working one of the points. Lost that one. Lundin will send that one in. Goes off the boards to Elliott. Elliott just drops it back. Power play has not been the strong point for either of these teams so far in this game. And part of it's just been this kind of pressure that has made the passing so difficult to get anything set up. The near side went right by everybody. Earl tried to tip it, but he couldn't get a stick on it. Badgers power play's got a minute 14 left to go. Straight up in the air. Burrish in the corner trying to control. He's got Earl there with him. Burrish protects it, moves the body. Burrish, Undine was on him. Got pinned up, lost control of the puck. There's nowhere to go in the power play. Johnson did not get it out down low. Shot save made. A big turnover by Maine and a power play chance off it. Burrish had it. It'll be cleared by the Bears. It's happened too many times today for Maine. The penalty killers complete possession of the puck. Don't get it out. Give Wisconsin a chance when that puck should be 200 feet away from the net. 39 seconds left on the Wisconsin power play. Carlson, he is really motoring out there in this game. Carlson has had a tremendous game. Skilly could not control it. Cleared off the boards. Maine trying to get on side with it, but couldn't control it. Carlson dropped it off. Sent back along the near side. McMurchy giving chase. Played away by Bishop. Flipped up in the air. Not out of the zone. Good hold in. Second chance, though, we'll get it out of there. And uh, Maine, 13 seconds left. They are still shorthanded here. They're changing up. Carlson coming over to help, trying to dig in here. Can't move it. Get up against the wall and decided he'd rather take the whistle. Joe Jankus that time, and he did. Frozen Four continues here on Saturday, the Division I Championship. All the action at 7 o'clock Eastern, ESPN and ESPN HD. And for a preview of the NCAA Men's Ice Hockey Championship, visit NCAAsports.com, where you can get information on all 88 NCAA championships. Wisconsin fans hoping 17,691 the announced attendance in our second game of the day a 6 5 win Boston College over North Dakota in the afternoon semifinal game penalty is over with five on five hockey once again into the middle level yay trying to drop it back did level yay open at the far side but they could not get the puck back there 
Lavalier bounces off his body and rolls to center ice. Duffy had to come back to get it. Duffy sends it in. Moore, Lavalier out there on this line with Soares into the middle shot. And another save made by Elliott. Lavalier right into the five hole. Well, Jeff Likens uh, obviously wants this game a little closer than it is right now because he threw it right up the gut from behind his net. Intercepted by uh, the main players. He has complete control of it. I don't know where he is throwing that thing. Very lucky that Elliott is so quick. He went from the post right out, square to the shooter again, controlled the rebound, no problem. But you can't make mistakes like that when you're defensive in a, in a 3 1 game. 31 saves here in this game for Elliott. He's used to making saves with that triple overtime they had against Cornell. He had plenty of chances, plenty of opportunities for saves to be made. Jodre moves it in, shot off the blocker. Big save right there by Bishop at the other end. Hobson with it. Hobson drops it back. Tyler. Tyler moving it into the middle. Hobson looking for help. Dropped it. Backhand shot Johnson. That will go wide. And a play by Dowell out of the zone. Main back Travis Ramsey. Ramsey on a Long Beach Polytech in a water polo goalie. An all state in California. Polytech's a big not only academic but uh, athlete uh, athletic school out there in California and some great sports champions. Kowalski trying to move it in lost it up the far side Wisconsin trying to get that that big next goal here Maine will send it in and change. Elliott goes back in behind the net to get it 11 15 to go here in the third period Earl up the near side that run into sent it in play back in behind the net. Undine came back to get it reversing direction Travis White White back in behind the net with Earl moving in on him White finds a little room White head man's that one to Ryan Ryan tipped it into the zone Ryan trying to follow it in to hold it in can't get there Tom Gilbert moved it up the wall and uh, the Badgers move it out White sends it back again Badgers waiting for a line change Damon got a stick on it goes off the backboard hard around the near side not out of the zone Mullen held it in now it is cleared the center fire held in Mullen's got it brought back in left side looking shot and that one just whistled wide pretty good chance right there by Jack Skilly who's played a strong game number 12 that was Jack Skilly Carlson this line has been motoring Carlson shot deflected without the defenseman there that probably gets poked in. That puck went right across to behind the goaltender. And Maine, uh, lucky they are not down by more. Shot, save, rebound, loose, and cleared out of the zone. Two rolling pucks in front of Maine's goaltender, Ben Bishop. It is 3 1 Wisconsin. Well, has Ben Bishop been as good as. Uh Mr. Elliott, not quite, but he's been very good, and certainly not the reason Maine's losing. Great save right there. Puck goes into the far side. Nice to have those big pads, Gary. That hit his pad. He didn't even see it. Grant Stanbrook, goaltending coach for Maine, asking uh, Bishop to come over to the bench to talk with him. Has his say. Face off to the right of uh, Bishop. Will be won by the Badgers. Andy Brandt. Brandt moves in to help out in the corner. Degenhardt was over there with him. Degenhardt, he got jammed up against the wall. Hit put on Lakari. Third and fourth line for Wisconsin. They're really playing it well right now. Grant shot knocked away. Tyler's got it. Main down by two. No scoring here in the third period. Loose at center. There's an errant pass. Lakari moves it in. Shot save made again. Bishop drops it off. He wants Maine to keep moving offensively. That's going to be sent in as Wisconsin will clear the zone. Travis Ramsey waiting for a little help. Wisconsin changing it up. Ramsey, the defenseman, moves to the red line. Got tied up. Tried to send it in. Maine's got to clear the zone. Big hit put on the far side. Set into the near side corner. Played back by Likens. Likens third it out of the zone. This is going to be an icing call. 9.08 remaining. Our Coke Zero game track. Well, we're seeing lots of icings now by uh, Wisconsin. They don't care if they do it the rest of the game. One shorthanded goal against. Zero for six, zero for seven on the power play. That's the story of the game for Maine. Burris gets a goal. Elliott's been great in net. But we talked about before the best line, Carlson Street, Skiller. Every time they step on the ice for Wisconsin, good things happen. Lavalier won the draw. More shot got blocked. Cleared uh, up by Dow, but not out of the zone. There's more battling. 
The play by Dowell who got help from his line mate Andrew Jandre who drops it off the near side. Jodre has been outstanding here. Shot from the point goes wide. Olinger had the opportunity. White got spun around, lost control of the puck. McMurchie's there as they were changing. Bishop's just not going to take a whistle here. Gets it up to Lavalier. He's trying to headman that puck, find a little room. Let's see if it works. Moving in, shot, oh. score! It did! The defenseman, Mike Lundin, and it's three to two. Well, Gary, you hit the nail on the head. Bishop does not want to draw on his own end. He wants lack of structure. He doesn't want Wisconsin to get fresh guys on the ice for a faceoff. He doesn't want Wisconsin to have five guys in between the puck and their net. By moving the puck, he gets out number chances. Great passing here. Great shot. Excellent shot right there. Lundin comes in. He's been shooting the puck well all night long through traffic again. Beats Elliott on that glove side, which is just about impossible so far today. But great puck movement. Smart play by Bishop. And now we got a one goal game with eight minutes left here. Lundin shoots his third of the year and a most opportune time for Maine. Bishop played that one again to the far side. Pavelski moving in. Pavelski for Wisconsin on the intercept but couldn't control it. Bad pass. Earls got it. Earls sends it in. Knocked away by Bishop. Burrish left it in behind the net. Sent back up uh, the near side and out. And this will be uh, an icing call on Maine. Now with 8.04 left to go and a one goal differential should be one heck of a finish here. The goal at 11.29. Lundin the assist going to Moore. Well now it becomes a chess game. You can't just put out offensive players for Maine because you got to draw on your end. You got to win the draw so you have to put out a center when you have faith in. A lot of little things and same thing with Wisconsin. Wisconsin's matching up now. They got to make sure they have the right guys out trying to win the draw. I love this time of the game. Close yeah. games like this man. Find out who coaches believe exactly. it, don't you? Yep. This is what you. Uh, this is what you get paid for. Eight minutes left in a one-goal game. Derek Damon won the faceoff against Street. Carlson centered, got blocked up in the air. Carlson, boy, what a game he has played. He dumps it back into the corner. Maine there. Maine's having trouble again getting it out of the zone. Clubertans came back to get it. Hard wrap around. Tyler moved over, could not hold it in. Here's a two-on-one opportunity. Maine gets two on two. Street save, rebound. Score! Great rebounding chance, and it is for to Wisconsin, and this line does it again. That's what I mean by coaching. It's a one-goal game. Maine had just scored a pretty goal. He comes back with that street line, the line we've been talking about. Carlson Street, Skilly. Every time they step on the ice, good things happen. Their job was to go out and get the momentum back, make something good happen. To get a goal is an extra bonus, but again, this line all night long has been the best line on the ice for Wisconsin. They turned the game back in Wisconsin's favor. Great effort by Carlson. Great effort by Skilly going to the front of the net. Street ends up getting the goal. Street missed it on the forehand, got it on the backhand, and off the faceoff, a whistle and an interference call coming. The Badgers are back to a two-goal lead here by a score of 4-2, but Maine is going to have a power play. Here. Tonight, or quite frankly, he played in more consecutive games than any play in Major League Baseball history. So tell me this, will Cal Ripken Jr.'s record ever be broken? I'll ask him after NCAA Hockey on ESPN2. Street picking up that uh, big goal. Yeah, not a goal scorer overall. It's his 10th of the year, but what a big one there to make it 4-2. Then the penalty, Degenhardt. Off the draw, Maine a power play shot from the point goes wide. The penalty was called for interference at 12:30. Maine has given up another short-handed goal to Wisconsin in this game. Moore will move it in for the Bears. Moore, Maine needs that power play goal right here to get that one-goal game back. Lavalier again working a point. Tyler with him in the middle. Tyler fanned on the shot, just rolled into the slot area, and it'll be kicked out the center. Lavalier, the only man back, and going by him, Pavelski. Pavelski, Lavalier, a little help back in the corner now. Again, you see what happens as Barry was talking about. You get a forward playing a point. Their eyes just light up when they see a little wee forward playing a point, man. Get a forward trying to skate backwards, and you're in deep trouble. Main tried to draw another penalty right there. Damon was actually hanging on to the Wisconsin player's stick. 
That one off the glass and out of there. 0 for 6 in the power play for Maine. One of the big parts of their game during the year. They scored the second most power play goals in Division One. They've not been able to get anything against this Wisconsin penalty killing unit here in this game. Hamilton drops it off down the middle. Backhander just wide by Johnson. Good chance right there. Here's Carlson. Here he comes again. Ross Carlson up ice. He's open. Shot. Save. Deflected to the near side. Big shot put on by Carlson. Back to get it is Matt Duffy. 35 on the power play for Maine. Duffy leaves it near side Ryan. Ryan lost it along the wall and it results in an offside. I'd almost call a timeout just so I get uh, Carlson on the ice again. Boy is he flying. What a dominant game. Ten goals. Or he's got ten goals. Street's got uh, nine now ten as you mentioned. Skilly the first round pick on the line is only 13. So this certainly wasn't a, a line that we expected to, to play like this. They have been uh, since the second oh. period on. They've been the force. Oh, we can't handle them. He couldn't handle them anytime you step on the ice. Face off will be whistle. We'll do it again. I think. Now they want to check on the clock here as Dave Hanson, the referee, comes over. We've got 5:59 up there. Boston College winners 6-5 over North Dakota this afternoon. Waiting to see. Here in the Frozen Four, who their opponent's going to be. And a two goal lead, an enormous goal picked up by Street at 1226. They reset the clock now up to six minutes. Now they've got to adjust the time on the penalty. It should be 30 seconds. There, there we go. And now we're ready. Face off will be outside the Wisconsin line. Cleared across by Gilbert. Big uh, draw win right there. Maine will have to backhand that one into the zone and try and catch up to it. Shepard dumped it in. Shepard follows it up. Shepard gets tied up along the boards. Still loose in behind the net. Short handed for another 12 seconds. Wisconsin ragging that puck away. Maine Shepard reached in to try and get it. Looking out in front. Power play. Two seconds left on it. Shepard has it. Top of the circle shot. Missed it. Dagan's got it. Power plays over. 0 for 7 on the power play for Maine. We're 5 on 5 hockey. Skating in. Wallace shot that one right into the defenseman in front of him. Steve Mullen that time. Didn't have any room. And he'll take another chance. Shot deflected in front. Moved off the side boards by Bellamy and out of the zone. Oh, Maine unable to convert when he got back to five on five with a couple of chances. Big hit put on by White. But dumped it deep into the zone, and that allows for the change. Jake Dowell got it in there. 454 remaining here in the third period, and a two goal lead for the Badgers. Wisconsin clears the end. They'll shoot it hard around. White comes over to get it. Carlson on his back poked it away. Centering pass for Hamilton. Hamilton had to come back to the line and sends it in. There'll be no whistle on this. Johnson back. Johnson dropped it. Looking to the front. The D will move in. The offside D moving to the net. They give uh, Wisconsin some chances. Nice feather off the wall to keep the clock going. Well, it also helps Gary. The ice got very heavy. We heard that in the first period that later in the game, the ice got very heavy. So that certainly helps the team that's just going to keep dumping it out. Takes away a lot of icing. Slows it down. Yep. Tyler dropped that one back to Ramsey. Sent back in, closing in on the four minute mark. Cleared around by Elliott, but not out off the dasher. John Hobson knocked it down. Hobson gets pinned up from behind. Hobson getting help from his brother Keenan. Keenan gets pinned up by Ben Street. Move back up the far side. Wisconsin again spreading it out the length of the ice. As they get it deep into the end, and that one knocked away on a center right through the middle. Played away by Soares in uh, for Maine. He got triple teamed and got stood up. Off the wall, Soares comes back to get it in the slot. His shot trickled. Bouncing puck rolled wide that time before Greg Moore could get a chance at it. And that will end up going on the Wisconsin bench. 3.29 to go. Just 3.29 remaining to go. The Badgers of Wisconsin trying to get back to the championship game. They are back here in the Frozen Four for the first time in 14 years. And they've got a two goal lead over Maine. Faceoff will be at center ice. 
referee uh, Dave Hansen going to each of the benches here. Talk to the uh, coaches momentarily. Not sure why, but whatever it is, it's taken care of. Damon will take the faceoff. Pavelski. Damon won it against him. Maine clears it back in behind the net. Elliott will let that one go. Derek Damon moved in on the far side, swung it around, intended for Ryan. Lundin moved in, the defenseman for Maine to try and hold it in. Johnson had it knocked away, rolled out the center. Great effort. Pavelski just kept charging up the wall and knocked it away. And Burrish will clear it to the far side. Earl tried to bring it around his man could not intercept it again Burry sends it back into the zone under three minutes now to go in the game that'll be whistled and we'll check in with Mike guys I'm here with Wisconsin's all time leading scorer, but more importantly Mark Johnson he's the head coach of the women's national championship team how's it compare coaching a winning team versus playing on a national championship team well I found a lot more difficult coaching a team to the championship than playing as a player you have a lot more control uh, you don't get as nervous and uh, as a head coach uh, there's a lot of downtime waiting for the game uh, you know waiting through warm ups uh, it's a lot more difficult as a coach but it's certainly rewarding and uh, quickly as we throw it back to Gary and Barry you think they have a rooting interest in this game well I know who Gary's rooting for I just hope Barry's rooting for the Badgers. He's coached a couple former great Badgers and uh, Tony Granado and Gary Shuchuk. So hopefully he's going for the red and white. <laughs> What's the deal, guys? Well, I'm a University of Maine graduate. Mark knows that. Mark and I were uh, plane mates forever when he was playing for the Devils. I'm a total professional. Yeah, I know you are. Cleared back uh, off the far side. Empty net at the other end. Maine with 2.29 left to go. Trying to make this a one-goal game here. But the empty net at the other end. That one shot wide. That'll be an icing call. So with 2.23 left to go, Maine pulls their goaltender, Ben Bishop, over to the bench. Tim Whitehead, the coach, will get as much offense as he can out there now with 2.23 left. Well, again, now draws. You've got to win the draw if you're Maine. You can't lose it. Uh, the other forwards have to help the sentiment out. It's just not his job uh, to win the draw. You mentioned earlier, you find out who the coach believes in at this time of the game. Wisconsin and what's good about Wisconsin their star players like uh, Pavelski and those guys are great two way players you can play your best offensive players in this situation because they're dependable defensive players also and that's who's out there Pavelski Lavalier Lavalier won the draw right behind him Pavelski though took it on the glove could not clear shot deflected uh, in behind the net extra skater now for Maine but an empty net at the other end they do have uh, just one D on the ice level yay clears it around the boards Ryan Ryan trying to move it to a point, trying to find a free man in that slot area. Takedown by Earl. Great play. Kowalski rolled along the ice. Shot. That one deflected wide. Close, but not quite on that one. Ain't able to hold it in at the line. Now kicked out of there. Blundina dropped down. This could be the put away. Up ice. Earl shot. Scores! Gary Burry scored a goal. Robbie Earl scored a goal. But the line that won this game for Wisconsin, we, and we harped on it all day long, Carlson, Street, Skilly. They won the game. Carlson scored the short and a goal. Uh, Skilly or Street scored the goal uh, right after uh, Maine made it 3 2. That is a line that turned things around every time they stepped on the ice. Second goal of the game for Earl comes at 18 16 on the empty netter. Bishop back in net with a minute 40 to go. The Wisconsin Badgers are on their way to the championship game against Boston College on Saturday, barring a complete breakdown here in the closing moments of this third period. Damon trying to send it in Hamilton. Hamilton looking to drop it back, held in at the point. Shot Mullen blocked out deep. Moved uh, through center easily here and down the wall. Backhand chance. Bishop there to knock it away in the glove. Bishop takes a swipe. And more than one. Used to be in the old days when the scrum happened, you wanted to grab the goalie. He was usually the little fat guy. Look at the size of this monster. Who's going to grab him in a fight? Little face washing going on down there. Take a look at our Pontiac High Performance game changing moments. Well, I'm sure he feels pretty bad. He gave up two goals in this game, Gary. He's not used to that. He hadn't given up a goal for three straight games. 
didn't have a lot of work, but he made some key saves at key times in the game when it was close, when it was on the line. By the number, the number one goaltender in the nation, and maybe by everything else as well. Over the last while, four games worth, it's been two goals. And for the Bears, especially the seniors, this is a long night when it really starts to sink in. It's one thing about playing here in the Frozen Four and through the NCAA tournament, for that matter. For the seniors, it comes in yeah. a hurry. You don't know. Your life changes. You don't know yeah. if it's your last game or not when you go out there. Yeah. You don't know if you're going to play pro. You hope you do. You hope your career continues. You don't know if this is your last game. You played, had four years at a college that you love. Your friends. It's a completely life-changing thing. And over like that. There'll yep. be a couple of penalties picked up here uh, on the stuff that occurred in front of the net. Faceoff's going to be in the main end. Main plays hard. They play really hard. That's the way they built their program. And it's going to be a four on four with the matching miners. A minute nine left to go here in the third period. There's with Bishop, the goaltender, obviously back in here. Bishop comes up to play that one. The announcement on the win mark and all the fans here in red. For Wisconsin making some noise. Elliott with another save and another takedown as it it gets a little ugly here at the end. Well, Wisconsin players got to be careful because they've got to play tomorrow or on Saturday. They can't do anything stupid. Bellamy was the one who got involved in that, getting too close to Brian Elliott, the goaltender. As far as Wisconsin was concerned. Smart play by uh, Wisconsin they don't have any of their stars on the ice they got the fourth line on the ice it's good thinking by the coach and Bellamy is going to go to the penalty box for Maine he may not be the only one John Jenkins is also going to go for Maine Mike Eves will be telling everybody you guys just skate away play hard Winning is going to hurt them more than anything else we're going to do today. I think we've got a four on three, I think, here. Maine's got too many players on the ice. Nobody else went in the box for the Badgers. Faceoff will be out at center. And now Maine will get that fourth man off. So a four on three situation with 49 seconds left to go. They'll chase Derek Damon out of there. Lundin got a chance on the draw. Wisconsin will win that. Badgers a very strong game here. They got that early lead and they held on to it. Derek Damon trying to move it in as it's taken away by Grant. Dropped off on the far side. 30 seconds left to go here in the third period. Brant moves it up. You'll just feather that one around in behind the net. Degenard came back. Brant's got it. Brant shot blocked. Rebound shot off the side of the net. Brant with a couple of good chances. Degenard looking. It's a power play here for the Badger. Tied up. Degenard shoots that one through the top of the paint. Down to 10 seconds left to go. It'll be Hockey East represented by Boston College. And the WCHA represented by the Wisconsin Badgers who win it. Two over Maine. championship game on Saturday night. This afternoon a six to five win Boston College over North Dakota and tonight a five two win by Wisconsin over Maine sets up our championship game Saturday at seven o'clock Eastern 
Saturday night. We'll be back to Milwaukee. Wisconsin wins it. Wisconsin comes away with the win by a score of 5 2. The at large Wisconsin Badgers go to the championship game Saturday at 7. Here in the Frozen Four, they will take on Boston College that Saturday at 7 on ESPN. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Coming up next, quite frankly, is Stephen A. Smith. On behalf of all of our crew here in Milwaukee, I'm Gary Thorne. Thanks for joining us, everybody. See you Saturday night.